Today we play Super Pokemon Odyssey. This is Super Mario Odyssey, but enemies and bosses have been replaced with Pokemon. It'll be fantastic to play through this and see them all. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. In the skies above Peach's castle. Let's see how this game starts. It is Charizard over here, and he is attacking Ash Ketchup. We have Ash Ketchup instead of Mario here, and instead of Bowser, we've got Charizard over here. I think this fits so well. This looks so good over here. And Ash's face looks so good instead of having Mario over here. Ah, oh, this is so good. What an absolutely wonderful game this is. Super Mario Odyssey. Okay, it looks like Ash has two caps right now. This is going to become normal once the game starts though. Oh, there's Peach. Oh, Charizard goes, this is the end for you. Oh, there goes that cap over there. But, but Ash is like, wait, I still have another cap. That doesn't even matter. And look at that. Oh my goodness, Ash Ketchum gets smacked down over there. Ash Ketchum! And there goes this cap. How cool does this look? What an iconic cap Ash Ketchum has over here. And Bowser, aka Charizard, just stomps on the hat over there. Time for my wedding with Peach! Yeah, jealous Ash Ketchum! Man, Charizard looks so evil with his eyes like that. Look at that lizard over there. Oh, oh, and I like how the hat just appears like that. Oh, and here comes. Mario's old cap over here, and the cap is torn to pieces like that. Uh, this is going to be such a lovely game to play through because not only are Mario and Bowser changed, but so many of the enemies are changed. You guys will see. This will be very nice to see, I think. Yeah, so here's Ash Ketchum. He's just smelling the floor right now. Hello, Ash Ketchum. Okay, come on, come on. Let's get up. Let's get up. It's time to get up. Oh, man, how good does this look? I think it looks so good. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. We want to go fast over here. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. And let's just come on up over here. Come on over like this. And there we go. We made it over to Cappy. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a shroud stick. It looks so weird seeing Ash Ketchum here. <laughs> and every time it's a Bowser cutscene, we're going to see Charizard instead of Bowser over here. Ash Ketchum looks around. He's like, oh no, everything's all destroyed here. Maybe we should team up. This is going to be a great team. Ash Ketchum and Cappy. But Ash is like, wait, I'm wearing my hat. Wait, yeah, because normally he's not supposed to be wearing his hat. But what if he has this hat on top of him? Ash is like, hey, this isn't the hat that I normally wear. Not your style. How about this? Let's see, Cappy takes the Mario cap and transforms into... Normal Cappy on top. Double caps. We've got double caps. Let's go. How funny is that? Cappy is now your companion. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but once the game actually starts, we just have normal caps like this. But let's make our way up here, of course. Oh, we gotta throw Cappy at that. Oh, wait, and aren't there going to be mini Goombas over here? Hold on. What are the mini Goombas going to be replaced with? Oh, look at the mini Goombas. Look, instead of mini Goombas, they are Caterpies. This is perfect. Yeah, because Caterpies are a weak little Pokemon, so you can just easily defeat them with a Cappy throw just like that. That's so cool. Okay, so what are we going to have instead of the frogs over here? Wait! <gasps> Instead of the frogs, we've got, uh, Squirtles over here! That actually looks so funny, seeing the Squirtles jumping so high like this. Okay, let's try catching a Squirtle over here. And we are now the high-jumping Squirtle over here! We can go into the water, we can jump up high like this. This is a great choice. Oh, we've also got a bunch of Caterpies over here. Gotta watch out for the Caterpies. Oh, man, so yeah, either every enemy or almost every single enemy has been replaced. And yeah, I think you guys will really like some of the changes that we made over here. Okay, so let's just get this heart over here because that'll give us some more health. That'll be nice while it lasts. So let's go to the boss. But some of these enemies, just a cupcake changed them and I don't know what he changed them to. So some of these enemies are going to be a surprise for me when we see them. I'm really excited to see what they are going to be. Like, what is this first boss going to be? Oh, I guess uh, all the Brutals are probably going to be changed. So when we come up here, We'll be able to see what the Brutals are changed to. Oh, we can already see some of them. We can see a Charmeleon up there, a Lucario. Oh, there's a Chimchar. What else is there going to be? And Jigglypuff. That's so funny. I like how Lucario's head is bobbing around like that. This is so good. Hey, the boss warned me that there'd be a fellow with a mustache coming along. I imagine that that's Jigglypuff speaking right now. Guess we ought to introduce ourselves when a wedding plan is for a happy couple. Oh, and look at the hair that Chimchar has. That's so good. They call us the Brutals. Da -da -da -da. Jigglypuff is going to come and try and rough us up. All right, Jigglypuff, let's go. And pink caps. The caps have been changed to be pink. How cool is that? All right, let's go, Jigglypuff. 
All right, got a nice jump. Wait, what in the world? What in the world is going on? Whoa, 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 oh, oh, Jigglypuff still had one hat left. That's why I was so confused. Wait, wait, but Jigglypuff, no, 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 no. Jigglypuff is in this one, right? Oh, I have to jump on it, I think, actually. Is that the one? Yep, that's the one. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's go, and I'm gonna get you, Jigglypuff. We stopped on that Jigglypuff. Wait, doesn't Ash normally battle other Pokemon using Pokemon? It's so funny that he defeats Pokemon by jumping on them. Oh, and also this has been changed. Let's see what happens when we go on to this. Oh, the game crashes. Here we are, the Cascade Kingdom. It is time for Ash Ketchum to visit all these Pokemon in the Cascade Kingdom. And I'd like this to be replaced with a Rotom, but when we tried that, the game crashed. So we'll have to fix that in an update for this. But we are still wearing the Ash Ketchum hat, which is nice. And out comes Ash Ketchum onto the grass over here in this iconic cutscene where Mario bobs out. All right, let's go and get ourselves some power moons then. And instead of chain chomps over here, what we have got is some vault orbs over here. And they fit so well. I think it's so nice to see the vault orb with the Ash Ketchum cap. And instead of a power moon, look what we've got. We've got a yellow Pokeball to collect right over here. How cool is that that we are collecting Pokeballs instead of power moons? I think that looks quite great over there. This is another great addition by Jissa Cupcake. He did an amazing job on this mod. He put so much work into this. It takes so long to make very, very many model changes like this. Okay, so let's see what we are going to be seeing next. Oh, oh, and some of you guys might have seen what we have instead of the dinosaur over there. And look who we have instead of the boss, instead of Madame Brood up there. I think that looks way too good. Yeah, so there's that one, there's that one dinosaur Pokemon from Gen 4 called Pranidos or something like that. And I was thinking of using that Pokemon to replace the T-Rex Pokemon. But a lot of people in the comments, and Just a Cupcake also suggested this, you guys were saying to use this one other dinosaur that's up here, that one up there instead of the T-Rex. Okay, so let's get that one in a moment, but first, if you want to get in here, so let's go like this, let's grab this one. Please tell me this won't crash the game. I'm a bit worried because sometimes when you're playing a mod, some stuff crashes the game. Please tell me this will work. And there we are. How lovely is that? Chomp through the rocks. I'm so glad that this is working properly. Now, let's just come on up here. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's come on up here. Yeah, this is where we're going to go. And instead of catching the T-Rex, oh, look at how he's sleeping with his mouth open. That's so funny. It's almost like he's going to eat Ash Ketchum right now. Okay, wait, so let's catch this guy. And we are now this big dinosaur here. What's this dinosaur's name? He's from Gen 5 or 6, I think, right? This one was added by just a cupcake. And let's go. Go! There we go, we made it to the boss fight. That's such a cool trick that you could use to get up to the boss quickly. And look at this, instead of Madame Brute, it is Groudon over here. And, oh, oh, uh, the camera's kind of zoomed in close over here because this Groudon's kind of big. And one of the coolest things over here is that instead of a Voltorb, it's actually an Electro down here. How cool is that? Because the normal chain chomps in this game are Voltorbs, but we have an Electrode over here. So how cool is that? Because normally this is supposed to be a gold chain chomp. So this chain jump, it does differentiate it from the other chain jumps that we've seen by making it an electrode. I thought that was a super cool, I thought that was a super cool addition over here. And man, look at that ground out swiping at us over here. Man, I really want to see what all the other bosses are going to be. This is going to be so cool. And some of the changes, some of the, oh, hold on, hold on. Some of the changes, some of the enemies. I almost said mobs, because in Minecraft they're called mobs. But yeah, some of the enemies and some of the bosses. Ah, uh, you guys are going to love what some of them are changed into. Some of the changes are so cool. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. There's the electrode just there. Wait, is the electrode just going to float there? How long is the electrode going to be there for? The electrode's still just there. Groudon is defeated. Groudon had to have been one of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 3. I absolutely love that one. Okay, let's get that. Wait. Oh, okay. I'm like, wait, can we collect it or no? But there we go. We did collect it. Wow, that's really interesting. And now Ash Ketchum in the Mario body over here flies around. And this is a multi move. Wait, why is it sideways like that? That's so funny. Ash Ketchum spins around and jumps up like this. Congratulations, Ash. Okay, and now we have enough power boons so that we should be able to activate the Odyssey and head to the next kingdom. This will be very exciting times over here. Let's do it. Oh, and look, all these golden Pokeballs come up over here. That's so cool how we power the Odyssey with these golden Pokeballs. Now, I love all the Voltorbs just sitting up there. So now we want to chase down Bowser, aka Charizard, 
to the Sand Kingdom. And let's see this cutscene over here with Ash Ketchum just standing over here. I really, really, really like how this looks. This Ash Ketchum looks so good over here. So funny to see his head in the cap like that on Mario's body. This was such a great model change over here. And man, what a magical game Super Mario Odyssey is. I've said this before, but man, this must have been a wonderful game for so many people. I didn't play this as a kid. I only played this how many years ago? One or two years ago. It was very recently. The first time I played it, I played it on YouTube. Well, I played it and I put the video on YouTube. And man, it is just, it's just such a good game. Oh, oh, and there we go. We have got... Our nice Ash Ketchum hat over here. I love how the eyes are just floating above us like that. Man, this is going to be such a fun game to play. And the Odyssey is flying by. Are we going to get to see Ash looking out the window? I think we will, right? Let's see. And show him. Look at him looking out the window. That's so funny. I love this. This is too good. So now we are heading to the Sand Kingdom. And there are a few power moons that we have to collect here, actually. And man, I remember playing the Floor is Lava in this game. We haven't gone through all the kingdoms yet, but the Sand Kingdom was quite a tricky one. It's quite difficult to make your way through this kingdom when the Floor is Lava. Because there's definitely a lot of floor over here. Everything that is sand over here is all switched to lava in the Floor is Lava version of this game. Okay, so let's go and collect some power moons now. Okay, wait, I think there's one up on a roof here somewhere. Where was it? Let's just get up from here nicely oh yeah right up there wait and isn't there going to be a oh get out okay isn't there gonna be a bird that's gonna be coming by over here too can we also get the bird okay nice so we got this first one over here there's our first power moon in the kingdom where's the bird where's the bird gotta be a bird that comes by where's the bird okay i'm not seeing the bird but wait is this where there's another power moon i remember there's one sub area with another power moon yes and hold on isn't it right here or something around here there we go there's the moon okay very nice okay so we got the moon okay and i'm not sure if the pokeballs were crashing the game but something was crashing the game so we're switching back to normal power moons okay i don't know if i heard the bird coming by or not but wait wait, wait hold on oh there's the bird there's the bird there's the bird can i go and get the bird please let me get the bird where are you bird there you are come no birds down there i can get him i can get him I can get him. I can get him. Come. Yes, there we go. We got him finally. Oh my goodness. I had to chase the bird all the way to here. That was so far. Oh, and that's so cool that the oasis is actually frozen here. Hold on. And while we are here, there is an easy power moon that we can get up here, right? There's a treble clef nearby. Yeah, over there. Right here. Okay, so that's nice. Get that one. Good job. I almost called him Mario, but I guess he isn't really Mario. He is Ash Ketchum, the Pokemon trainer. There's another... Oh, there's another nice power moon for us. And hold on. Isn't there a power moon just in the ground over here also? Can we just uh, ground pound on this? Is this where you could get a power moon? Tell me this has a power moon. Yeah, all right. Okay, that's nice. Well, that's so weird how I dove away from the moon as we were getting it. Okay, so let's just make our way towards where we have to go now. We could go up there to get a power moon. That shouldn't be too bad of a spot to get a power moon over there, I think. Oh, and look at all the little caterpies in the desert over here. Oh, oh, and we're going to see some more Pokemon now. This is going to be exciting. Okay, let's just head up here because this is going to be a nice place to go. Wow, I'm surprised we didn't run off and then we did run off. Okay, let's try this again. We can just go like this, get on top. And from here, we should be able to just go like this. And there we are. There's our next power moon for us. And then there are a bunch of power moons over there that we can get. Oh, oh, and you know what? You know what? I learned about this recently. Oh, 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 stay away from me, Caterpies. You can go like this. Hold on. One, two, three. Actually, that wasn't good. That did not work how I thought it would. But we can just jump over here. And down here, there's actually just a power moon right back here. There's so many fast power moons that you could get in this kingdom. I saw a little bit of small Ants guide for speedrunning this kingdom, and you can go through it so quickly, actually. Okay, so let's head on up here, and there should be a bullet bill. Yeah, look at that. Instead of bullet bills, we have coughings. How good does that look? Okay, so that moon just comes over there. So yeah, we want to actually capture a coughing right here. Coughing, come out. Come out, coughing. Come on, coughing. Why aren't the coughings coming out? Come on, give me a coughing. Let's go. Okay, and get... Th Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Okay, let's actually uh, pop out here. Get the thing. There we go. We got the thing. Very nice. From a crate in the ruins. 
And there's also going to be some nice stuff that we can get down here. So let's not climb on the sign. Just leave the sign alone, Ash Ketchum. Sir Ash Ketchum, do not worry about that. Let's grab this guy. Okay, now we can go. Not there, not there. Try again. Give me another coughing. Coughing! I remember coughing would go like that in the anime. It was quite funny. I enjoyed the sounds that coughing made. Okay, so inside a block is a hard place. That almost sounds like an expression. Isn't there an expression that's kind of like that? Okay, and we could get this one here. And then there's also another one nearby, but I don't know if we can be fast enough. Please. And yeah, baby, let's go. That was a great way to get that. Okay, so now we can get some more coins too. And we can get this. And look at who we have over here instead of a Jaxi. We have got an Ivasaur. The Ivasaur looks like he might be in a bit of trouble though. Are you okay, Ivasaur? How are you doing? I'm what you call a Jaxi. You wanna ride? It'll be 30 coins. Let's ride, let's do it. So, what you doing? Some sightseeing? You gotta check out the inverted pyramid. All right, thanks for the controls, let's see. Oh, oh, now Ivasaur is normal all of a sudden. Oh, it's time for Ash Ketchum to ride on his Ivasaur over here. Let's go! Oh man, how cool is that? And we can also run in the poison without any problems at all, which is pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. We can just ride on this poison. No problems at all. Okay, let's head up here because I think it'd be nice to actually go and face off against some of the bosses. Okay, so let's just head through this section with Ash Ketchum over here. But we didn't replace the 2D Mario over here. The 2D Mario is still Mario. Maybe we could do that in an update. Maybe it'd be cool to see a... 2D Ash Ketchum over here. Oh, and there'll be a nice Power Moon that we could get over here also. But if we're going to be facing both bosses, then that isn't really going to matter. Like, we could go, hold on, is it down there that we could go? Wait, let's just get this first, just in case. Oh, wait, actually, now I don't think that we could get back in unless we go back in from the bottom. That's okay. We're gonna have enough Power Moons anyways. Okay, and now these platforms here are going to start to appear. And there's actually a really cool trick that you could do over here. Where I've done this in two-player Mario Odyssey, actually, where you can skip using that platform. You actually don't have to use that platform. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see. Come on, baby! Yeah! All right, we made it out to here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we can just go like this. Okay. And then we can head to down there, right? We should be able to make it to down there. I don't know if we'll make it right to the end or not, but let's go like this. And... Easy, easy, easy to make it to there. Even though we did some pretty good vectoring, we didn't really need that. Now we could just go like this, and there we are. Oh, and look at these guys over here. Look at these guys over here. These guys over here, what are they called? I think they're called, uh, I think in game, they're called Moa Moas or something like that, but I love how they run around like this. They're so funny how they run around like this. And you can put on your sunglasses, and when you put on your sunglasses, then you can see where these invisible platforms are actually. It's pretty cool. It's quite nice that you can see them like that. Hello, friend. Let's walk around together. Why are you afraid of me? And right here is another one of these for us. Let's pop out of here. Now we want to get up high, and I think a nice way to get up high would be from this one. I think we should be able to climb up here. Oh, and Bowser was stomping around a bit. Okay, so can we get up here? We should be able to get onto that one, right? I think we can do it. Let's try this. Okay, and... Oh no, there's a wall there, there's a wall there, an invisible wall, okay, that's why we can't get up there, okay, so we should be able to get up from this side though, right? Yeah, from here we could easily get up, okay, boy, is there ground here? Yeah, there's ground here, okay, I think this is the way that you're supposed to, you're supposed to go on this one and this next one, right? Otherwise we die, let's try it. Actually, we'll just land on the sand. Actually, we can just make it across anyways without any issues, but looks like there was ground here, so that's fine, we're good either way. Let's just come on down. Don't fall in the poisonous goop over there. Be careful. I wanted to do that at the last possible second. And now we can get this. And then that power moon spawns. But wait, do we even need to spawn that power moon to make it across this gap? We could probably make it... Maybe we could make it across the gap without using that thing. But let's get this. Very nice. That's quite the tricky jump if we want to make that. I don't know if we can do it. Let's try. Oh! Yeah, okay, you actually can make that jump, and it isn't too bad, actually. Okay, that was not bad. Okay, so let's just go like this. There are some other power moons that we can collect around here, but I do want to face both of the bosses, so I don't really care about any more power moons. Like, we could collect a power moon right over here. Actually, you know what? Since it's right here, let's just get it. There we go. We got it very nice. Lost in the luggage. And now, 
can just go ahead into here. And there are also some other power moons around here. You can get the power moons in the Sand Kingdom quite quickly. When I first played this game, I thought that you actually had to beat all of the bosses in the kingdom and complete the main storyline in a kingdom before you could go to the next kingdom. But you actually don't have to do that. Oh, nice. Here comes the coughing. Coughing! Okay, let's go over here. I remember James had a coughing in the Pokemon anime, and then it evolved into a wheezing, and it would go, Wheezing, wheeze! No, I don't want to go back out, Mario. Okay, so let's just run across here. Ay, 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 I wanted to squeeze through in a nice spot. I guess we can go like this. If you damage me, I don't care. I don't care because we have a lot of health over here. Oh, let's just go down this pipe or up this pipe, depending on what way you look at it. And now, I can't remember if there's a moon off to the side somewhere or if it's just coins, but I think over here to the right. Yeah, you can continue past there. I can't remember if it's a moon or just coins, but we have more than enough moons because if you get extra moons in this kingdom, it doesn't actually mean that you have to get fewer coins in the next kingdom, which might be kind of surprising. Wait, can we just go around like this? This work? How far will we be able to go? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that actually worked great. We had plenty of time. I wasn't sure if we would be able to do that, but it ended up working out great. And now we can just go and take on the boss. And the boss now, it's going to be Chimchar, right? I probably shouldn't have chased after that bird at the beginning, spent all that time. Oh, look, and there goes Charizard on the Bowser ship in the background. He flies away with Peach. And here are these Pokemon again. Look at them. They're so silly. All right, Chimchar, let's battle. Oh, oh, and it's that final evolved form thing of Magneton up there. It's gonna be a cool fight. Okay, throw your spiky thing. Throw it, throw it, throw it. I dare you. Oh, no, I missed. I missed, okay, throw it, throw it again. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, and now go. There we go, okay, we got you. Now I can jump on your head, very nice. Now where are you gonna go? Okay, it goes inside the Magneton. Where are you flying to? Over there, bam, got you. Nice try, you're not getting away. Okay, now throw it, throw it at me, throw it at me, throw it at me, throw it, throw it, bro, throw it, I dare you. I'll get you like that, and I'll jump on your head. Oh, I missed your head. Look how big the Chimchar is. Okay, let me get the Chimchar. Come on, there we go. Okay, we got the Chimchar. Okay, one more hit to go. Okay, where are you going to? Where are you going to, bro? Over there. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, we got it right away. Okay, this is gonna be a relatively fast fight over here. Okay, throw your thing. Throw it, and let's go, and there we go. All right, that was not too bad. You can defeat some of these bosses so quickly. Oh, look how it's still smiling even when it's defeated. That's kind of cute. And for that, we of course get a lovely power moon. And even though we have enough power moons to finish this kingdom, I do want to show you guys what that big fist boss downstairs is going to be like. But you know what? Now that it's nighttime, I think this would actually be a good time to ride our Jaxi where we need to go, which is to inside. Oh, oh, and look at these guys. That's so cool. That's so cool. Normally there are mummies that come up and the mummies have been replaced with these dust clopses over here. Yeah, we're going into this pyramid over here, riding our Ivasaur. So cool to see Ash riding on an Ivasaur, like a Jaxi. Okay, and we want to make it through this section, and look at the little Pikachus over here. Okay, so let's make our way across like this. Hello there, little Pikachu friend. Where are you going? I'm just gonna run like this. We can probably... What the? That was so weird. Something wrong must have happened with my inputs there. Yeah, because I wanted to do that. Yeah, that doesn't even seem too difficult. So now we can just come across like this. Do I need you to get up here? I don't know if I do, but it's kind of high, so I'll just do this, okay? Are we gonna have a Bullet Bill come here now? Bullet Bill, come Bullet Bill! Come, come. Oh, and it has a cap on it. It looks so funny with a little cap like that. Okay, let's come here. Don't go into the walls, because then you crash and die. Good. Okay, now you come here. Come here, next coughing. Look at the cap on it. Look at the cap on it, okay. Whoa, 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 Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Now, let's just get it around these. Oh, it's actually kind of hard to control, and very nice. Oh, and I think there's actually a chest somewhere up high with a power moon in this room. Okay, but... Oh, oh, and I think after you beat the game, this is where the ring appears. The ring goes into this slot over here. Where we are going to go is over here. Can we get a view of the boss before it appears? Are we going to get to see it or no? Oh, and there's over there coughing that spawns, but we don't need that coughing. Actually, maybe we do. Wait, can we land on this? What if we land on this? Does this burn us? Oh! Yes, you actually can see the boss up there. Up there, you can see who the boss is going to be. This is wild. Okay, but can we make it down there without capturing the coughing? I'm not sure if we can. Let's see. Let's try. Let's see. Okay, we might have to try and land in this place. Do we get burned? Okay, we do get burned. Can we stand on the edge, though, or no? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. 
Okay, so it looks like we actually do need this coughing over here so that we can make it over here. And this is gonna be such a cool boss fight over here. And it actually reminds me of a funny story. I remember being over at a friend's house and my friend couldn't defeat Mewtwo in Pokemon Stadium. And in Pokemon Stadium, you could rent out any of the original 149 or so of the first original 151 Pokemon. Where? Ring! Look who it is! It's Mewtwo! Wait, is he giving me the middle finger? What is he doing? Oh, I guess his fingers are just like that, though, because he has three hands. Okay, or uh, sorry, he has three fingers, so I guess that's just what his hands are like. Ouch! Oh, and instead of fists, he has these over here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go and punch Mewtwo in the face over there. That'll teach you. Okay, we got a nice hit on him over there. Yeah, so we were visiting a friend's house and he was stuck with uh, defeating Mewtwo. He couldn't defeat Mewtwo. And one friend had a suggestion on how to defeat Mewtwo and he took out all poison types. And we didn't even realize how silly that was at first because of course, uh, Psychic is super effective on poison. So Mewtwo will, of course, be able to defeat all of them very easily. Oh, 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 let's grab this one. Okay, very nice. And he actually almost won the fight using only poison types against Mewtwo. And then after that, he just took the three legendary birds and defeated Mewtwo like that. It was quite simple for him. Okay. So we didn't get hit there. Look at that Mewtwo. The way This is actually a pretty scary boss fight over here. Look at this. Wait, we have to... Oh! Boy! He didn't get hit. That's good news. Come on over here. Okay, is that enough? Okay, now get ready, get ready. I need you to ground pound here. I need the heart. That's what I wanted. I want the heart. I want the heart. Get the heart, bro. Good job. Hit there. Now grab him. Good. Okay, now where are you? Stop blocking, stop blocking. No, 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 because there's only a certain amount of time that you can hold that fist when you capture it. Wait, is Mewtwo gonna explode now? Oh, wait, he just sinks down. He doesn't even explode. He just had ice shatter off of him and then he just sunk down. Okay, that was quite the fun boss fight to have. And yeah, we got another multi-boot for that. Okay, so I'm glad that we came down here so that we can see that. And next we are going to head to the Lake Kingdom. We're going to face another Brutal there and we're going to see what Pokemon that will be. Hooray! Ash Ketchum spins around again, and let's go to the next kingdom. Let's go, I'm ready. Let's throw Cappy at the globe, add the power moons over here, and yeah, Lake Kingdom is next, right? Or wait, or do we get to choose between lake and forest? I can't remember how it works. I think maybe you can choose between lake and forest. Yeah, I think this is the first proverbial fork in the road. Okay, yeah, it is a fork in the road over here. Okay, let's go to the Lake Kingdom first. Guys, let me know in the comments. Did you go to the Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom first? Okay, here's the Lake Kingdom. We've got a bunch of nice Pikachus over there. Oh, 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 I thought that was actually a different Pokemon that was swimming in there, but I don't think that that was replaced. Okay, these Pikachus with the little bridal gowns over there look so funny. And there's gonna be a lot of really cool stuff over here. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff over here, but wait, wait, wait. Isn't there a moon that you can get right over here? Whoops, I missed, and... Amazing! We can just get a moon just like that on the lake shore. That was quite the simple one to get over here. And can I just walk up like this and can I... Oh, nope. I gotta restart. Gotta restart. Okay, let's come on over like this and bounce off and there we go. Hello there, little Pikachu friends. I'm just gonna come on over here and I'm not going to make it now. I'm gonna come back and bonk and fall into the water. But look at that. We've got a Lapras down there, which is actually pretty cool. But you know what? Let's go for that then. Let's get the moon. Hooray, we got the moon over there on the left. What happened to Ash's head? What in the world? What happened to your head there, Ash? Things were looking a little weird. Oh, and instead of cheap cheeps, we of course have magic arms, just like we saw in our past Pokemon Mario Odyssey video. There's another power moon for us right here. So let's make our way up here. We wanna jump up high. We can use this to get up high over here. We can drop down here. There aren't too many power moons that you need in this kingdom. So you can get through it pretty quickly. I'm not doing it perfectly efficiently. There are, of course, speedrunners who can do this so much more efficiently. I have got to see some speedruns of this game because I've watched a little bit of Small Ants Guide to speedrunning this. Just so that when I'm doing a playthrough like this that I can get through some of it a bit more quickly. And yeah, there's some stuff that is actually amazing. There's... it's... Speedruns of this game are really quite efficient and people can really play this game very quickly. Okay, so let's make our way 
up here. We can go like this. Oh, that's amazing. We didn't even have to wall jump or anything over there. Okay, we've got some little caterpies over here. Not too worried about them. Lots of caterpies over here. Just ground pound and a bunch of them fall over. Okay, so let's come on up here. Oh, 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 but wait, wait, wait. We still want that moon over there. Okay, so let's go and get that moon over there, actually. Hold on. There's a moon around here, right? There's a shiny... Yeah, there it is. Oh, boy, don't bonk, Mario. Yeah, I knew that there's a shiny crate around here. Okay, this is where it is. And then the moon's gonna spawn up that way. So we want to just make it up to the top over there, and then we can just go to the boss fight after that. And the boss fight will give us a multi-moon. Oh, and there's our first purple coin of the game. We have one purple coin. Guys, how many purple coins do you think we will have by the end of the game? I want to get up there. I want to... Please let me up there, please. I'd just like to get up here. That's all I want to do. Get that moon. Very nice. Okay. What's in the box? Now, we are going to face off against uh, this, this fella over here. Going to face off against the next Brutal. And wait, this isn't the super fast one, right? Because the next Brutal, the Brutal after this, the Brutal that we're going to face in the Wooded Kingdom is an incredibly fast boss fight. Okay, so let's go. I'm ready for the next Brutal fight. <laughs> You're too late. We already got the luck, lady dress. Alright, let's go. We're facing off against Lucario. So we just faced off against Mewtwo, who had an aura orb like that. So now we're gonna have to do something similar to uh, Lucario here. And instead of the rabbit throwing a little hat, he throws this orb over here. That bounces us up. And then we get dropped down on him like that, which is pretty cool. Okay, wait. Now what do we... Oh, oh. I was wondering if maybe you could knock him back with Cappy and then just brush the fight right away. But I guess he can't do that. We probably have to wait over here. Come on. Yes, nice. And... Is this it, or do we need three hits? Let's see. Okay, it looks like you need three hits on this boss. Yeah, because in the first Brutal fight, you only need one hit. But then in the second and third, and I think fourth Brutal fight, you need three hits. Is he going to throw two orbs now? Let's see. Oh, no, he's still only throwing one orb. I guess in the next uh, fight against this guy, that's when he throws two orbs. Yes! I'm actually surprised that that worked. Okay, and now we should be able to reach him. And there we go. Drilled down onto his head. Look, I love how his head bobs around like that. It's actually kind of funny. And we get a pink multi-moon. So now we already have enough moons. Uh, I was going to say multi-moons. We have enough power moons to go to the next kingdom already. So the next kingdom is going to be the wooded kingdom. There are quite a few moons that you do have to collect there. And there are some nice boss fights, too. So, let's get ready. Oh, Cappy is worried about Peach and Tierra. Yeah, because right now, they're being held hostage by Charizard instead of Bowser. I'd be worried, too, if Charizard was holding on to Princess Peach. And I was Ash Ketchum, and I had to rescue Princess Peach from Charizard. What a world we are living in. Ash Ketchum has to rescue Princess Peach from Charizard. All right, so here we are, the Wooded Kingdom. I had to take a little break, but oh man, I almost forgot that we were playing as Ash Ketchum. Oh, and look at some of those plants that are up ahead over there. That's looking very interesting. Okay, so we got these robot guys spinning around. We want to catch this rabbit right over here. Let's go like this. Come here, rabbit. Come here, you wasque widow rabbit. Come here. Yeah, we got him. Let's go. That was nice and fast. And we got the power moon. Lovely. Now, in this kingdom, there are quite a few moons that you do need. Okay, wait, we have enough coins. No, we don't have enough coins to buy a moon. Wait, if you collect these coins, does your normal coin count go up or no? No, it doesn't. Only if those are grayed out, they give you extra coins. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, wait. I actually saw them do something really cool in this speedrun. Hold on, hold on. If you grab this, and where's the shiny rock? Is the shiny rock here? No, oh, there's a shiny rock somewhere around here. Where's the shiny rock? Is this rock supposed to be shiny? Oh, yes, this is the one. This is the one. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes. If you take this rock and if you ram it into another rock like this, there we go. It breaks. How cool is that? I actually saw that in the small ant guide. I didn't know that you could do that. Okay, so. Yeah, we probably don't have to talk with the Sphinx because I don't think you actually get a power moon for that. So we can make our way up here. I remember the first time I was trying to do this when I played this game because I didn't know that you could talk to the Sphinx. I was trying to get up this waterfall and my movement wasn't as good, so I was having a lot of trouble with it, actually. Okay, so where can we go? We can... Oh! Oh, that's right! And we have uh, Charmanders instead of Fire Bros, which is quite nice. Now then, how can we do this? We want to make it over there, so let's go like this. And... Yeah! Okay, that was a great way to get up there. Okay, let's go here now. Break this, get that power moon. Okay, man! Some of this movement that we have is getting better. Well... It wasn't very great to start with. Oh, boy! There we go. Yep, yeah, speaking of not great movement, we're bonking into this over here. 
Mario, or sorry, not Mario. Ash's head looks a little small compared to his body, right? Oh, and look at this. It's a Badoo, right? Is that the name of it? I know it's a Gen 4 Pokemon that's really common in Gen 4. Wait, do I want to go up here? Can I go up here? Oh, nice. You can just get up there. Okay, yeah, so that is a fast way to do that. Okay, and now we can just get this. Very lovely. Climb the cliff to get the nut. Yeah, there are a lot of nuts to get over here. Uh, a lot of power moons, too. Okay, so let's just... Come down here, and now we can swim through this pipe right here. And there will be two nice power moons that we can get over here. Oh, and look at this, instead of the fuzzies, we have pine cones. How cool is that? Are they called pine cones or pine cones? They're probably called pine cones. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a side flip there. We can just go like this, and there's the power moon for us. Lovely. I remember the first time that I played this game. I didn't know that there would be a power moon here, and I didn't check up there. Until much later, actually. Okay, let's come down. Ay! Careful where you go. Careful where you go. Whoop! Uh, be careful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, yep, yep. Got hurt. That's all right. That is all right over here. Let's just make our way up. Come on, come on, come on. Don't kill me. We're so close to the power moon. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay, we got the power moon. Now we can get out of here. Yeah, so the fuzzies, they've been replaced with pine ghosts. I thought that'd be a really good choice. Yeah, and if you guys have any other suggestions for what you think would be a good enemy to replace with a Pokemon, or if you think that a different Pokemon would be better to switch uh, with an enemy, let me know in a comment. I'd be really curious to see what ideas you guys have, because just a Cupcake and I, we also had some different ideas for some different Pokemon. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, we also had some different ideas for different Pokemon that could be used, but the thing is, you can't use every single possibility. You only have to, you can only use one possibility. Okay, so let's get this. Let's climb up here. There's gonna be a moon in here for us. And I think later on, there are also more moons that you can get, but right now I think, actually, I don't know if this is the only moon that we can get in the maze, but later on, I'm guessing it's after you beat the game. That's where moon shards start to appear over here. But let's come out of here because that's enough of this place. Now we can just, Oh, can I even make this? Oh boy, how did we make that? How in the world did we make that? Okay, now we gotta defeat this fella over here. Oh there, friend. I'll just come here and defeat you and get a nice power moon. Look at that. Oh, and there's also a power moon off to the side. Hey, okay, so let's do this. Very nice. Route to Sky Garden. Ash looks so good in this cutscene. Okay, so that breaks so we can activate that switch, but do we need that switch? Because there is a jump that we can do across. I've seen that people can make that jump across. It is a little tricky, but hold on, let's come over here first. Oh, and there's one of those guys over there, that's fine. You're welcome here also. We'll come over here though, and we'll go like this. Let's go like this. Come on. Mario, I need you to get up there. Get up there, what is a fast way to do this? Oh boy, and we don't even get the power, but that is so sad. Hey, but there we go, we've got that. There's like a giant cappy below us, and we also have the cappy that's on our head. Okay, so let's try this jump now. This might be tricky. Actually, can we even do this? Let's see. Let's see. How do they make that jump? How do they make that jump? They make it look so easy when they do that. Yeah, I don't know how people can be so fast with that. Wait, would jumping from here be better? I don't even know if jumping from here would be better. Okay, but yeah, we can just uh, take this little path along this way, okay? And... Oh, why can we get over here? Can we get somewhere nice doing this? Oh, 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 okay. At least that wasn't horrible, but yeah, there's another nut for us right here. So we can just get this one and then we can make our way back, right? Cracked nut on a crumbling tower. Oh, and it's actually not a very tricky jump to here. And then we just want to make it to there, but how hard is it going to be to make it to there? Hopefully not too hard, let's go. What the, what? happened there? I was so worried that we would bonk. I don't know what happened there, but it looks like it ended up being okay. Oh, oh, and when we see one of those Badoos, we want to capture the Badoos. Let's get the Badoo over here. Come, Badoo, come. Hey, okay, anything nice up here? What's up here? Okay, I guess we'll come up here then, because there are one or two power moons that we can get here, right? Right? Okay, yeah, right here is one, which is lovely. Not planted in the tower. Oh, and where's the path for us? I need the path to come back. Path, come back! Good path. Okay, now then, wait, do we have to go up here? Oh, you're fast! You're fast! Oh, run, 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 Badoo! Run, Badoo! Get up there! Good job, Badoo. You did a very good job, and we are all very, very proud of you. Okay, 
Now can we get up high enough over here? Jump out and... Yeah, okay, we were able to get it like that. That's very nice. Stretching your legs, okay. You can also shake the controller to stretch a little farther. Oh, and if we actually bought the Power Moon at the start of the kingdom, then we would have the perfect amount of Power Moons after this boss fight here, because this boss fight is going to give us a multi-eye moon, and then we're going to have enough moons to go to the next kingdom already. Now it's time to face off against Charmian. Look at how his shoulders move around. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot that you can do this. I forgot that you can do this. It's actually, uh, actually quite easy to uh, face off against this guy. Wait, get ready. Come. Okay, good, 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 good. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh boy, I was so worried about when he would start moving. Okay, his movement is a little weird. Hey, okay, see. get ready. Get ready. When do you want to jump? There we go. Okay, and you can just get him like that. Yeah, then you can defeat him very quickly like this. Okay. So the start of the boss fight wasn't super fast, but once you know that you can jump on him once he runs towards you like that, then you can defeat him very quickly. Okay, that was a great fast boss fight over there. But let's get that. Congratulations, Mario! Another boss has been defeated. All right, so let's send in our Power Moons into this Odyssey ship over here, and we are ready to go to the next kingdom. What is the next kingdom? We're not going to the Metro Kingdom yet, are we? Is it going to be the Cloud Kingdom? And then the Ruined Kingdom already- or sorry, Cloud and Lost Kingdom already? We're not going to the Metro Kingdom next, are we? What's next? What's next? Wait. Wait, oh, oh, we don't have enough moons! I'm like, wait, Cappy, what's going on? Why aren't you saying anything about where we have to go next? Okay, and we need a few coins over here. We need seven more coins. There are six right here, and then another three there, so that means that there are nine. So now, we are gonna have enough coins. Okay, that's great. So now, we can buy a Power Moon for a hundred coins. Hey, wait, let's just make sure to not accidentally press A too fast, and yeah, we don't accidentally want to spend 50 coins on that, because then we'd have to go and get another Power Moon. Okay, so now we actually have enough Power Moons. For some reason, I was thinking that we had enough Power Moons. I forgot that there is still uh, one more that we had to get, actually. Okay, so let's just boost on over here and put it in. There we go. Okay, are we still going to be moving fast during this cutscene? Oh, you can see the cloud over there. Is that from that rocket flower that just poofed into nothing? It's weird. Cappy almost looks like a Santa Claus hat over there. Okay, there we go. Now we have enough power moons, finally. Okay, so what is it going to be now? Is it going to say Metro Kingdom? Okay, I think it's going to say Metro Kingdom because we can see that we're passing over that palm tree place over there. Yeah, we're definitely going to make it straight to the Metro Kingdom. There isn't going to be anything that goes wrong at all on our way there. And look at Mario, he's just the captain of the Odyssey airship over here. Ash Ketchum fits very well in this role. Goodness, what was that? We heard something. Ash's hands look huge! I think it's because his head is kind of small compared to his body. Or does Mario normally have big hands like that? But for some reason, this Ash, he just looks like he has very big hands, doesn't he? Proportionally, it looks like it to me, like he has big hands. Oh, and wait, Charizard's gonna come over here, right? Let's see, Charizard. Where are you, Charizard? Charizard on the ship over there with Princess Peach. Ah, oh, there he comes! It's so cool to see Charizard walking towards you instead of Bowser. Looks like his hands are behind his back. Ash Ketchum's like, I'm gonna catch you, Charizard. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. Pikachu, go! Is it time for our battle now? Yes, here we are. The Cloud Kingdom. What a cool kingdom, because you think that you're going to make it to the Metro Kingdom right away, and then all of a sudden you run into Bowser, and you think, wait a minute, is the game actually going to end here? Am I already at the end of the game? But no, the game is just beginning over here. So let's make our way over here, and let's go! That's so cool, Ash Ketchum, and there's Charizard up there. Look at him laughing, he looks like he has a big belly. And Charizard jumps out, wait, can Charizard also fly? Oh man, how cool is that? How cool is that, Charizard, instead of Bowser? Ash Ketchum, I don't have time for you. I'm busy planning my wedding. Don't you know how stressful that is? Did anyone think Charizard would ever have a wedding? Here's Ash Ketchum. It's like, all right, let's go. I'm putting on my cap, even though I'm already wearing one. And Peach is like, Ash Ketchum, where's Mario? What kind of Pokemon am I holding? All right, what are we gonna do, Charizard? What attack are you gonna use? Hey! Why are you gonna use a hat? Why don't you just use flamethrower on us or something? Oh, and if he spins around and attacks us with his tail, that would actually make a lot of sense. It's funny when he's wearing the cap, uh, it looks like it actually covers his eyes. Hey, let's come here. Are you gonna throw stuff at us now, bro? Where are you going? Hey, you're jumping to there. Hey, we can jump over this. Oh, nice ground pound, bro. That was a nice fast ground pound, actually. I'm gonna start to punch you down. Let's go. Let's go. Look out, bro. Oh! Oh, I thought that he'd do his uh, tail spin attack, but I guess he didn't. Okay. 
What are we gonna do now, Charizard? What are we gonna do, Charizard? Come on, Gary. What are we gonna do, Gary? Oh, oh, he's not doing his fire breathing attack. Bye, yay, yay. Okay, good. We got it. We got it. Very nice. Wait, can I do long jumps? Nice. I can do long jumps now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice try throwing that boulder, but I'm gonna defeat you very quickly over here. Well, I guess in this fight, maybe he doesn't do the tail spin until later in the fight. Is he gonna breathe fire or no? Bro, are you gonna breathe fire? Just throw your caps. Okay, just throw your caps then. That's fine. I don't care if you throw your caps. What do I care if you throw your caps? Give me that. That's the one I need. That's the one I need. Looks like a super easy fight so far. Everything's going great. Oh, boy. I like that you could long jump over that. Can I dive through these? I love that you could dive through these. That makes it so fast. Okay, are you gonna spin your tail now or no? Oh, get ready. Oh, I almost jumped too early. I was expecting his big tail to spin around more quickly. Wow, Charizard can use fly. Charizard's so good at fly. I love how his tail sticks straight up like that. Is Charizard going to be angry now? Is he going to be attacking us? What's gonna happen in this cutscene? He shakes it off. He's like, oh, Mario, you must know water and electric type moves. Because those are super effective against me. Maybe you even used a rock type move. Fire! Oh, speaking of fire types, yeah, because he's a fire type, that's why. Ash Ketchum's running away as cannonballs are being shot at him. Oh boy, what game are we even playing over here? This looks so funny. Ash Ketchum! Whoa! Evil Charizard. See what you're up against, Mario? Oh, and guys, try and guess what Pokemon the dragon will be. Because there is, you guys know the dragon boss that is coming up soon for those of you that have played Super Mario Odyssey. I wonder if there are any people watching this video who haven't seen regular gameplay of Super Mario Odyssey before. That would be really interesting if someone was a Pokemon fan, but they haven't played Mario Odyssey or seen footage of Mario Odyssey before. So this would be their first time seeing Super Mario Odyssey. That'd be really interesting. Okay, let's go. Take it off, Ash. It is time to go. Let's go, my bro. Okay, so normally, when you go... Hold on, hold on. Let's just be careful how we go like this. Okay, that's not what I wanted to happen. If you go too far, then that bird will come here and it'll uh, steal your hat. And we don't want that to happen, so we'll do this. Let's do this. Let's get ready. This is a slightly tricky jump. Let's go. One, two, three, and... Come on, and let's go, baby! Oh, and look at that, it's a haunter. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, that actually looks so cool. I love that little haunter. That was so unexpected. That's the evolved form of Ghastly, and Ghastly ends up evolving into Gengar. I think in most Pokemon games, if not all Pokemon games, you actually have to trade haunter for it to evolve into a Gengar. There are a few Pokemon like that. There's Alakazam and Machamp. And I think also Golem, if I remember correctly. Kind of interesting how even in the first generation of Pokemon, there was stuff like that where you had to... Hold on, I just want to get the thing up there. Just want to get the Power Moon that's up here. Very nice. Okay, good. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how even back in the first generation of Pokemon, there were... Oh! Yes! Yes, it's a Garchomp! I love how he's dancing side to side like that. That looks way too funny. Oh, that's so good. Okay, but, 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 where we need to go, let's get this guy over here first. We need to get this guy over here. Let's go. How close can we get? Little more. Little more. If you shake the controller, it'll work, but I don't know if shaking this controller will work right now. Okay, so there we go. We can just get that. Want to be careful to not accidentally jump off while trying to get the power moon. Butterfly's treasure. Very nice. Okay, so we've gotten a few power moons already. There's just one to get right here if we drop down look how close together the power moons are in this kingdom you can just get so many power moons so quickly over here okay and soon we want to make sure that that klepto bird doesn't give us any trouble and i think over here if you ground pound yes there's a power moon here also you can just get the power moon so quickly in this kingdom if you ever see a speed run of this kingdom you'd go wow they're so fast. Oh! Oh, and it's Zapdos! It's Zapdos over here! Look at that! Instead of Klepto stealing your hat, it's Zapdos. Too bad that we don't get to see Zapdos for very long, but we can just take him out like that. Nice, easy way to take out that Zapdos over there. Okay, we can come over here. Just get that quite quickly, which is very nice. Another easy power moon. Okay, we need four more. So, let's see. Where can we go? There are a nice two or three over here. There's the one over here. You can just ground pound here. You know what? Here, you take my cappy and come over here. Oh, oh, let's try that again. Yeah, so this haunter, they take your hat and then they charge at you like that, which is very nice. Okay, now how many more do we need? Because there's the one right behind that staircase. There's also the one over here. Okay, so two more to go. 
Man, we're doing this so quickly, okay? And let's just get the one that's in here. That is absolutely lovely, inside the rising stone pillar. And then there's a relatively easy one over here. I've never done this one before. Oh wait, we could just get that one. That one might actually be easier. There's one that I'm thinking of. Hold on, let's just go like this. Oh, is that missing? Okay, that's missing. Haunter, you missed. Are you coming out again, Haunter? Okay, Haunter, let's go. Come straight, and... Oh no, now you missed that way! Oh boy, how bad is my aim? Okay, let's see. Where are you? You're right there. Okay, so let's go like this. Uh, come a bit this way. Maybe that'll work. And that should work. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Now, can I make the jump to there? You know what? I am in... I am not in the lava. I thought I'd be in the lava. Well, not lava. The poisonous goop. I think Louis C.K. has a joke about that. Where he was saying that there is someone riding on the bike and there is someone coming out of a taxi opening a door and there is just too much to say and he really wanted to get this information out quickly so he's just like, BAD THING! Like, over there. That's why I just called the poison scoop lava quickly. Yeah, we could have gone for that power moon that's down here in this speedrun. I think normally you want to go like that and then you end up getting this power moon over here and then you just fall into the poison and Mario dies and it just spawns you back at the Odyssey. I think getting that one would be a bit faster as the final power moon in comparison to the one from the cage that we got. But we actually spawn up here, so you know what? Let's uh let's try out this guy. Let's try out this Garchomp. Garchomp is one of the coolest Pokemon in Gen 4. It's actually a ground dragon type, and it's kind of cool how we could fly around like this. And yeah, we could just get this power moon right over here. Even though we don't need it because we have enough power moons already. And just pop out here. Oh, and I don't think I really talked about how those guys that can extend out. I never really talked about how they are uh, worm pulls. But yeah, you guys noticed that they were uh, worm pulls instead of those tropical wigglers. That's what they're called. The tropical wigglers were actually worm pulls now because they've been replaced with worm pulls. They look good too. Uh, and what a lovely colored sky we have over here and clouds. Have you guys ever been on a plane before? Guys, let me know in a comment if you've ever been in an airplane before. I haven't been on an airplane in so many years. I can't even remember how many years it's been. It must be six or so years since I was on an airplane. We found just enough power moons to fix up the Odyssey. Thank goodness we actually found more than just enough. I really like how Ash looks here just sitting on this chair. He's just staring blank forward as Kathy's talking to him. From time to time, he just nods his head a little bit. And now it is nighttime as we are making our way to the Metro Kingdom. Finally making it to the Metro Kingdom. The last two kingdoms, the Cloud and the Lost Kingdom, were so fast though. The first time that I was ever at the Lost Kingdom, it actually took me so long to complete it. But now, once you know what some of the speedrun strategies are, even though I've never really practiced speedruns of this game and I'm not fantastic at it, it's actually amazing how quickly you can complete some of these kingdoms. And look at this! Look what we have on the skyscraper instead of the Mecha Wiggler up there. Did you guys see what Pokemon that was? One of the strongest Pokemon in the game. All right, let's make our way over here. Wait, do I have to actually speak with you? No, I can probably just go over here, right? Yeah, we can just go over here. Let's just come on up here, and wait, can I take this down? Probably also do a jump down ourselves, can we? Should we? And probably go like this. Oh, this'll be scary. This'll be scary. I don't know if you can make this jump from here. Can we do it, Gary? Let's go, Gary! 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 We made it, Gary! We made it across without using the zappy, Gary! Alright, oh, and look at the bees! It's a bee drill! It's a bee drill! What are you gonna do, bee drill? I'll attack the Beedrill. Oh yeah, the Kakunas, they turn into Beedrill. How cool is that? That is actually such an amazing mechanic over there. Oh, and uh, the tanks, they're all uh, Blastoise is over here. Oh, look out. Look out, yes, yeah, so we could go in up. Whoa, bees! Bees everywhere! We're at Blastoise and we're attacking these Beedrills over here. How cool is that? Oh, and we can attack the other Blastoise right there and destroy- Oh! <laughs> the Blastoise just explodes kind of- Okay, let's get rid of these Beedrills here. Very nice. Okay, but yeah. Where we want to go is, of course, over here. Oh, boy! That was a little scary. Oh! And look at that Pikachu over there with the construction hat. That looks very nice. Okay, so we want to head this way. And hold on, do we have to go down here to get the Power Moon? I think we do, right? Yeah, okay, let's just jump on you. There are crates here. Let's just get them out of the way, okay? We'll come like this and get this right over here. Very nice, getting that Power Moon. The first Power Moon of the kingdom. And there are, oh, and uh, there's another nice bonk. And there are 20 Power Moons that we have to collect in this kingdom. That's quite a few Power Moons. Okay, look out, bros. Oh, I love how you can just kick them when they're uh, in cocoon form still, when they are Kakunas. Yeah, when they become Beedrills, that's trouble for you. Okay, lots of Blastoises over here. Oh, and we're going to have to play as a Blastoise 
when we are actually in the boss fight. Wait, where is the boss fight? Is the boss fight just up here? Is there a faster way to get to the boss fight? I can't remember if there's a faster way. Okay, then there are some Pikachus here. That's lovely. Let's just go here. Come on up, please. We just want to make our way up. Oh, and can we get that power moon? Can we jump to it from here? That might be nice. Go like this and... Come on, baby. Let's go. Don't fall out. Don't fall. 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 Good job with that ground pound, Ash Ketchup. That is a very good ground pound you had over there, Ash Ketchup. Okay, and there is a power moon in this area. In this little sub area over here, there was a power moon somewhere. Where was it? I know that it was off to the side somewhere. Okay, we've got some uh, Caterpies over here. Whoop, uh, look out, Caterpies. Caterpies, don't hurt me, Caterpies. Come on, bros, just leave me alone. Just, 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 whoa, whoa. I didn't even realize that I was hanging there. I was looking ahead and I didn't see where we were. Bros, I'm at 1 HP. I'm at 1 HP. If you hurt me, I might die. Oh, stay back. Oh, boy. Why am I going there? Where should we go? You know what? I'm gonna come up this way. Tell me there's a moon here. Tell me there's a power moon here. Tell me there's gonna be a power moon up here. Come on. Come on. Where's the power moon? I know that there is a power moon around here somewhere. It was somewhere off to the side. But where? Where or where is the power moon? No power moons here. Bro. Bro. Oh boy, baby! Oh boy! Don't chase me! Don't chase me! Don't chase me! Leave me alone! I am getting out of here! Okay, we didn't get the power moon there, but that's okay. We get healed up from this, which is fantastic news. Now let's just head on up the city like this, and look what it is! It's a Rayquaza over here! I'm ready to face off against this Rayquaza over here. Let's go. I love how it's broken up into little sections like that. It looks so good. It's just zapping out all the electricity. So Rayquaza is a dragon near the end of the game in Gen 3. So in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And it is such a good Pokemon. And it has some great moves. By default, I think it knows Outrage, Extreme Speed, Fly. And I'm not sure what the final move is. But you can also teach it some great moves. It's got amazing stats. Oh, and uh, we're gonna face off against this Rayquaza with a Blastoise over here. So let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 get the zappy ones. Get rid of the zappy ones. And whoa, 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 whoa. That almost got me actually. Okay, let's go. This is our chance. We're damaging it. We're damaging it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. There we are. Dealt some nice damage onto it. Okay, that was nice and fast. Wait, what happened to that other Blastoise? The other Blastoise is gone. Okay, now the Rayquaza is gonna go through this wormhole over here. Look at how it bobs its head up and down like that. That's quite funny. That is quite comical. And where are you gonna come from next, bro? You're gonna come through here, huh? Well, I'm just gonna move out of the way. It's too bad that you can't damage it while it goes through like this. That would be very nice if you could do that. Okay, now are we gonna one-shot it or no? Let's see. Get ready. Oh, 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 you're still coming like this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now where are you going to go? Which wall are you gonna go up on? That is the question. Let's see. They're going. Oh, oh, we've got a bunch of these. I don't really care about those. I just wanna damage the Rayquaza. Let's just try and avoid those if we can. Good. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Almost got all of them. Come on. And is that all of them? Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Stay away from me, orbs. Stay away from me, golden orbs. Do you have a heart for me? Nope, no heart. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so it's going to charge us one more time. Yeah, this is probably one of the longest boss fights in the game. I'm not sure if it's the longest boss fight in the game. But even if you do it perfectly, even if you do it quite quickly, well, as far as I'm aware, what the fastest method is, it still does take a bit of time. Okay, so let's see. Okay, there is a heart there, which would be nice. Wait, how do I damage you? Oh, oh, the one at the end there. Good, good, good. Let's finish it off now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Attack the Rayquaza. Attack it. Go, 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 go. And there we are. We defeated Rayquaza. Very nice. It looks like it's getting electrified by the building. And... It explodes, and we get a lovely power moon over here. Actually, a multi-moon. Are we still in the Blastoise or no? Oh, where did the Blastoise go? I wanted Blastoise to celebrate with me. Did Ash Ketchum ever have a Blastoise? I know that he's met a Blastoise before. I think he had a Charizard at one point. But yeah, doesn't Ash Ketchum release a bunch of his Pokemon in the anime after having them for a while? He lets them go out into the wild? Okay, and now it is daytime. At the Metro Kingdom over here, there's Pauline. So there are a bunch of things that we can do for power moons, so let's see. Let's go and get some power moons. Okay, yeah, we got rid of the bug thing. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait. Did uh, Cappy call it a bug thing? Did Cappy say we got rid of the big bug thing? It's kind of funny that that's what they call Rayquaza. Wait, is the power moon back there? <gasps> there still is a power moon right back there. Okay, how can we get in here? Can we get in through here? 
Wow! I actually didn't know about this until just a few days ago. I didn't know about that power boot. That's so funny. Okay, and can we make this jump down there without using our, you know what, let's see. Like this. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby, please! You gotta make it! Yeah, we made it! We skipped that again, let's go! Okay, and you know what? Let's try this jump rope minigame. Quite hard, but I'll try my best. Let's go, let's get ready, okay? Let's go, and now, go! If you get to 30, you get a power moon, and if you get to 100, you get another power moon. I don't think we could get to 100, but let's hopefully get to uh, at least 30. Let's go. Okay. Whoa! Wait, I just realized there's a Mew over there. I saw something moving and it was a little distracting. But wait, hopefully I don't get too distracted that this hits me. Let's go. Okay, now don't distract me. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, never mind. Okay, you know what? That's fine, that's fine. It was actually going slower than I expected. Maybe we could do it, but you know what? It's probably not worth the time. Hello there, Mew. How do you do, Mew? Can I ask you for some advice? Yeah, so the Takatu is actually replaced with Mew. What's this thing if you're seeking? I know it! Aha! You probably don't expect Mew to speak like that. I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue! Dizzy and guides! Quack! It's hiding somewhere and no peeking! Go find it! Quack! Okay, let's take one of these. I don't know if we are going to plant all of these. Because after you plant these, you have to wait a little while. Whoa! No, don't fall! Is it still up there? How in the world are you still here? Grab it. Okay. Oh my goodness. How did it not fall? That is so lucky. Okay, now go in the pot. Amazing. Okay, so maybe we'll come back for that power moon later. Wait, isn't there a way to get this? I think speedrunners, they can like spin in here or something. They go like, whoops, not like that. Yeah, I heard that there's a way that speedrunners can just clip in there. I don't know how it works. I haven't seen it before. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and even the uh, car is changed. Wait, what is this supposed to be? I don't even know what this is over here. Okay, well, let's uh, go like this and back up a bit and now just go straight in and there we go. We got the power moon. I don't even know what that is. Is that a Pokemon? Yeah, so just a cupcake. I don't know what he added for this one. And you know, should we do the race? You know, let's come in and do the race. There's a relatively quick race that you could do over here. And wait, if I do it fast enough, I wonder if I'll get both power moons together. I'm not expecting that we will though. Okay, so we have to beat, I think, 35 seconds and also 28 seconds. Let's try best. Okay, bad start already. Let's see how this is gonna go. Oh boy, you really have to practice for this if you want to be good at it. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, there's no way that we're beating that uh, required time now of 20... 26 or 28 for the second power moon. Unless we play absolutely perfectly out of our mind in the second two laps. Let's see. And that's our final time here. Bro! 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 What is that? What's our final time? We actually almost beat 28. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, was it you have to beat 28 or you have to beat 26 for the second power moon? Well, I guess we'll find out. Hold on, How? what are you gonna say? Wait, he doesn't say what time people need to win. You normally say what time people need to win. Well, one power moon is enough from here anyways. Let's get out of here. Oh, and there are two power moons that we could get over here. So let's pop in here. There'll be two nice power moons that we can get. Okay, so what we need is... Oh, oh, and we've got these guys instead of uh, piranha plants, which is very nice. Okay, rotate one more time, please. Thank you very much for that. Oh, there, friend, I'll just defeat you. Oh, oh, I thought that we could just walk into them, but I guess that won't work. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Then I'll grab you. Thank you very much. I'll have to come around here. Oh, nice job sending that back. Okay, now get that, please, Cappy. Good job reaching that. Okay, now where's the final one that we need? The final one that we need is just gonna be right over here. Look out, bro. And I'm gonna have to jump on this guy if I want my Cappy back. Too bad that the ceiling is glass over here. I would love to just jump off the top over here and make my way out, but alas, we cannot do that. We must go here, must go here, and we can exit and get this power moon right over here, but that's not all because there's one more power moon in this section. I don't think we actually saw it on screen. I don't know, I wasn't really paying close attention, but we can actually just drop back here and get a power moon. Now, do we have to use that thing to get back out or no? Let's try this. Let's go like this and let me back up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice, we didn't have to use that thing. I don't know if it is faster or not to do that, but there we go, everything in this section is done. And we need nine more power moons. So what are we going to do for those nine other power moons? That's quite a few power moons. Oh, hello, hello. Everyone's waving at us. Hello, hello, friends. Hello, friends. Okay, let's get in here. 
Now there is a power moon that we could get in here. It's relatively easy. It costs 10 coins to play. And you want to be careful to not celebrate too early. Okay, so what is it after? It's after a normal heart. Okay, go now. Good. You want to be careful. You want to be careful. Okay, after a normal heart now. Okay, good. Get ready after a normal heart. Go now. Good. Last one. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up, bro. After normal heart, go. There you go. We win the power moon. Very... Wait, where is it even? There it is. Okay, very nice. Okay, so eight power moons to go. Where can we go for some nice power moons? Wait, wait, wait. Is there a guy? Is this the guy over here? Can we sit down with him and get a power moon right now? Boy, I tell you, this city. How about I have a seat with you? Oh, I'm sitting about as far away from him as I can on the bench. Like, thanks for reaching out. Have this for your trouble. Like how the guy in front of us just paused mid-walking right now while we are doing all these animations. Like he's watching what's happening. Thanks, pal. No problem. No problem at all. Yeah, just park that thing anywhere, pal. No one is going into, un into the underground power plant with that taxi here. Oh, I never even realized that this was here. So that's what stops you from getting to this part of the game uh, too early. Oh, let's come in here. There are a few power moons and a few really surprising ones. So let's see. Oh, I didn't make a good jump over there to start. Let's see. Let's go like this. Let's go. And come on now. And easy power moon over there. No problem. Okay, pushing through the crowd. Now, you might think that that's it, but, but if we look closely over here, one of these people, they're going to have something on the back of their head. Let's just watch closely. Someone's going to have something. Look at the back of these people's caps. going to be something that shows up on one of their caps. Let's see. Where are you, bro? Where are you, bro? Where are you going to be, bro? Where are you going to be, bro? Where are you? Come on, come on, come on. Or maybe it only happens after you beat the game. Maybe it only happens after you beat the game, because normally there's another power moon over here. There's, uh, you'll see eyes on the back of somebody's cap, and then when you go and talk to them, then you get another power moon. Okay, but there is also another power moon up here. Where is it? Oh, oh, we have to swing along. Swing along! Swing along! And there- oh, oh, I almost missed it. I almost ran off, actually. Okay, but there we go. We got this one. Now we only need just a few more. We're getting kind of close to being done over here. But... We can- wait, is this the entrance or exit? I, I don't know. Okay, good, it was the right pipe. This is where I wanted to go, yeah, because if we went through where we came from, then we'd go back to the Metro Kingdom, but this brings us to this other part of the Metro Kingdom with the rocket. So I think that there are two power moons that we can get here. I believe there are- wait. What if I just make it up there right away? Oh, I don't know if you can- that'd be so tricky. Wait, should we just try to go there right away? Let's try it, let's try it. I don't know if it'll work. Come on. Oh my goodness, you can just do that? That is so silly. That is so silly that you can just do that. That isn't even super difficult to do. That's so funny that you can just do that. That makes it so easy. Okay, wait, what about this? How far can we go like this? Oh man. Hey, let's go like this and let's see how far along we can make it this way. We could always just grab onto one of these. Yeah, we could grab onto one of those if we're not able to make it back. And wait, where's the other moon? Can we get to the other moon from here easily or no? No, the other moon's way out of the way. You basically, unless we could get up here. No, there's no way that we could get that high, though. That is too high even for us. Okay, it looks like you could actually get kind of close. I don't know if we can make the jump that high. We can almost make it. Look how close that is. Oh, you know what? You could probably make it if you do a triple jump off of this right here. Let's see. Oh, man, you can make it. You can make it. What an athlete. Yeah, this guy's more excited that we're doing the level backwards than doing it forwards. That is actually so cool, though. Could you imagine if I missed the jump onto this? This is the easiest part of the entire thing. It'd be so funny if this was the part that I messed up. But yeah, now we can get this power moon here. Wow, I've never done this this way. I wonder if it's faster. It's definitely harder to do it this way, but I wonder if it's faster. That's so funny that we did it like that. Oh, boy, that's so cool that I noticed that railing. Then we were able to do it this way. Wait, let's just go like this. There we go. Now we made it back all the way over here. That is so cool. I wonder if the floor over here is going to be lava in the floor is lava when we come here in the floor is lava mod. Because if it is, then there might be some cool strategies we can do. Okay, so where do we want to go? We can get two quick power moons over there. Or actually, maybe even through. Wait, is the dog over here or no? Oh, I don't think that the dog is here yet. Okay, so we could get a power moon from here. Oh, and that's so funny that it's actually a piece of Rayquaza instead of the big broken up Mecha Wiggler. Yeah, I was looking at this. I'm thinking, wait, what even is that over there? Okay, so we could talk to this guy. Wait, actually, we can't get the power moon from him yet because we have to talk to Mayor Pauline first. Okay, so there are two power moons that we need. What two should we get? Okay, there is still the power moon up there. 
we get up to the top and then drop down that might be a faster way to get that one so let's go like this and then maybe our plant is also going to be ready so then we can just go and get our plant yes yeah, so we can get this and wait should we teleport to over here yeah, let's teleport over there. That's probably faster than walking over. Man, what a kingdom. What a kingdom. The Metro Kingdom is such a cool kingdom. I have a video where recently I just went through a bunch of the Metro Kingdom and got almost every single moon that we missed. Ah, we need one. Well, we need one more power moon, but this one isn't ready yet. What should we do? You know what? I'll fill up on my water and hopefully this will be ready by the time that I'm back. Okay, this plant is finally ready. We can finally get this power moon. And let's make our way to the next kingdom. Okay, and instead of just uh, teleporting there, it's nearby over here. We can just use this to come back. We can jump down to there without using this capture, but making it back without using the capture. I don't know if that would be possible. Okay, let's get ready to go to the next kingdom. So there's still snow, seaside. What other kingdoms do we have? Snow, seaside, luncheon, Bowser, and moon. I think that's it. Five kingdoms. That's actually quite a few still. I think right now we can choose between snow and seaside, if I remember correctly. Or are we going to luncheon first? Oh yeah, it looks like you can choose between snow and seaside. Okay, so let's go to snow, then we'll go to seaside after. So here we are, the snow kingdom, and there's a big blizzard happening right now. And Ash Ketchum knows a thing or two about blizzard. He knows that it is a strong Pokemon move. He knows that it's a strong ice type move. Got 120 power and 80 or 70 accuracy. I'm not sure if they've ever changed it, but... Yeah, the accuracy is not very high. Can't just make it down to there from here, can we? Can we just go like this? How far can we make it? Oh! Oh, oh! Oh, almost, but from here, can we get up high enough? I think we might be able to make it up high enough. Let's see. Come on. Let's go, baby! And we didn't even bonk! Okay, let's fall down there. Ah, oh, there's a checkpoint flag right there. I should have gotten the checkpoint flag. I did the same thing in my playthrough of Bowser Jr. Odyssey. Oh, and look at these! Eek, you scared us! How adorable are these guys? Look at that, they are Sfeels! I love that these guys were changed with Sfeels. This was one of my favorite changes in... Oh! Let's get that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is one of my favorite changes in the entire game. I think Sfeels fit these guys so well. I thought of this, I thought it was so good. Just a Cupcake did the change for us, and... Also, uh, the guy that we change into, or the guy that we have to capture for the race, we might be using Sfeels for that race too, which I think will be great. Oh, and we haven't seen these yet, have we? Ah! Yeah, so you might be wondering who uh, these guys over here are, who these Nidorans are. These Nidorans, they are actually Spinies, but these guys over here that replace... Uh, these guys over here that replace the you know what, that replace the typhoos. I don't know. Go get him. Yes, yes, yes. We got him. We got him. We got him. Okay. So you want to push off all these Nidorans over here? Yeah, Nidorans. I thought that that was a great uh, replacement for Spinies. That was just a Cupcake's idea. And the same with these guys over here that uh, replace the typhoos. I don't know what these are though. What are these? Almost looks like a snow cone Pokemon, like ice cream. Wait, is a snow cone and an ice cream the same thing? I don't think they're the same thing, are they? You can tell I don't really eat dessert. I'm like, is a snow cone and an ice cream the same thing? I'm guessing they're different. No, because ice cream comes in an ice cream cone. So what is a snow cone then? What in the world is a snow cone? Is a snow cone the same as cotton candy or is that different? Okay, so we've opened up one of these four things. So there are three more barriers that we have to open. But let's just make our way through this one now. Oh, and we're also gonna have to face a boss. Is this the one with the boss? No, this isn't the one with the boss. Okay, but there are going to be two power moons here, I believe. So let's go like this. Blow me! Blow me! Thank you very much. Okay, now let's just come on up here. And where are you gonna bring me? To over there. Okay, let's go. Bring me up. Okay, doing lots of spinning over here. Like when Mario lands on a spin drift in Super Mario 64. But now it's time for our next boss battle over here. Wait, are we going to face this guy? What's his name? Tapper or Topper? Jigglypuff. We're going to face Jigglypuff again, right? Because we've already faced all of them once. Oh, we're facing you again. I'm actually surprised that it's not a uh, Capper or Topper, whatever his name is. And hey, where are you going? Oh, that was a little tricky the way that you threw two like that. Okay, there's one hit on you. Now what are you going to do, bro? You're kind of fast this time, right? So you might catch up to us, actually. Do you want to go like this? I'm going sideways, basically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, throw your caps. Throw your caps. Do you have a cappy? Well, so do I. Get him, get him, get him, get on, get on. Yeah, we still made it. Okay, very nice. I'm getting you. 
And what about you, rocks? You got any hearts for me? Got any hearts for me? I want that heart so I can have full health. Let's go. Yeah! There we go. Okay, perfect. Now then, you gonna throw your caps? Throw your caps. I don't know if I can get it. Oh, I got both of them! I got both of them. Oh my goodness. My cappy throws were fantastic in this fight. Oh, and I should probably head over to where the power moon is going to spawn. It probably spawns at that platform. And it's not a multi-moon, unfortunately, even though it is a brutal boss that we defeated. We are just going to go and collect this power moon right over here. Another power moon for Ash Ketchup. Now that will be two out of the four seals are cleared. Okay, two barriers to go. Let's go to the top right this time and we'll go to the bottom right last. Oh, and it's this one. This is a fun little one over here. And wait, 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 are these? That's what I thought. That is such a good choice over here. Okay, so there are those little eel guys, or sorry, not little eel guys. There are actually those giant eels that come out in some levels that are similar to this. And I asked Cupcake to make those into Gyarados. But come on, come on, give me that, give me that. But yeah, this one over here, it looks like the Onyx is about to eat Ash Ketchum over there. But yeah, these over here, this was uh, just a Cupcake's choice, what to make these. Wait, bring me up, bring me up. Oh, I could probably make it up without that even. What about you? Let me up here. I don't want to bunk there and fall all the way down. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Bring me up. And let me come here. Okay, there we are. Oh, oh, but, 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 this isn't all that we have to do. Wait, wait, tell me this doesn't teleport me back because there's actually still that other moon that we want. I hope we don't get teleported back. Okay, good, good. We don't get teleported back. We're still here because we actually want to go here and grab onto this and shimmy on over this way. Look at how quickly Ash Ketchum can move along this ledge over here. And in here is another nice power moon force. And we jumped right through it because it wasn't ready to collect yet. But yeah, we've got a decent amount of moons. How many more do we need? We need five more. Okay, Ash, I know that you are a treasure, but you do have to get out of that treasure chest. Because the treasure chest is for power moons. Even though you are a treasure, we all know that you are a treasure. But the treasure chest is for power moons. And you have to go and collect power moons and Pokemon. Oh, oh, this is a fun section too. Okay, so let's get some of these Pikachus over here. And I think these Pikachus, not only do they look so adorable with their Santa hats. Oh, look how cool they look with the Ash Ketchum hat. That looks so good. I really like how that looks. That looks really cool. And uh, since these are actually Goombas that have been replaced with Pikachus, we can, of course, stack them up just like Goombas, and look what happens. Oh, I thought that we'd uh, make one of the Goombas confused by jumping past it, but we were too good and we jumped onto it. Okay, so let's get this right here. There'll be a nice power moon in here for us, so we might as well get that. Very good job, Ash Ketchum. And now there's a super simple one over here. Then after that, we only need three more power moons, so if we do the race, because there is the race, then after the race, we should have a enough. Yeah, and we can just jump across like that. I don't know what you're actually supposed to do because that was a super easy to jump to just make across like that. Man, it's so cool how many little shortcuts you can do in this game using Cappy. The more I play this game, the more I like it. I grew up playing a lot of Super Mario 64 and I absolutely love that game. I did a little tiny bit of speed running of that game. And that was really fun, so I, I really enjoyed the movement in Super Mario 64. But man, the more I play Odyssey, the more I can appreciate it. It is such a great speedrun game. That's something that it just seems like everybody says. Everybody always talks about what a great speedrunning game Super Mario Odyssey is. And Super Mario 64 as well. But the more I play Super Mario Odyssey, the more I can appreciate it. For Super Mario 64, I just always knew it was a good speedrun game. It's just obvious. But Super Mario Odyssey, I didn't grow up playing that one, so I never really knew what it was like. Ah, uh, right, so let's see, where do we want to go? Oh, I might have caused myself a problem. I caused myself a problem, didn't I? Where's the guy that we want to race against? Wait. Oh, these spheres are all like, I want to race. I'm as fast as a race car. Okay, where does this take me? This way to go back. I don't want to go all the way back. Wait, do I have to go through this door? Which door do I have to go through? Because I know that there's a little shortcut that we could use for getting the guy, if you know what I mean. Oh, perfect, perfect. So the guy that we need is somewhere over here. Wait, is this the guy? Oh, this is the guy. This way isn't even that long to get to him, okay. Yeah, this feels so sad, so sad. Like, I'm a big round spiel, I don't wanna race. If someone wants to take my place, they can do that. I'm not racing, I'm not ever leaving this spot. What you have to do is you throw Cappy at him, and now we are the spiel! It's so cool to bounce around as this spiel. How cool is that? I think that's incredible. Oh, and we can also get some coins, that'd be nice. Let's go! I'm ready to race, I wanna race. Hey, let's race. 
Oh, sir, I'd like to join the race, please. Finally, now we can start the race. A frost frosted cake was stolen, so the prize would be a power moon. Are you ready to race now? Yes. Okay, it's actually been a little while since I've done this. I love how they're just a bunch of spheels that are ready to race. How cool is that? Okay, it's actually been a little while since I've done this, so hopefully we can still win. Okay, we're starting off in fourth place. There are three laps. We have to come in first. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's actually a little confusing with all the spheels looking so similar. Let's go. Oh, boy. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. We gotta go faster. Oh, boy. The timing is actually a little bit hard like this. Let's see. Okay, come on. Now bounce that way. Good. Good. Come here and go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, no. That wasn't very fast at all. Hey! Hey, I bounced against the top there. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I gotta catch up to these guys now. Come on. Look, they're actually kind of far ahead. I have to be careful where I go and what I do. Let's go. Go. Come on. Hey, don't bounce too fast over here. Yeah, it's the final lap now, and I'm actually not in first place. This is the worst I've ever done in this race, actually. I've never done this poorly in this race before. Let's see. Can we come back? Okay, we are in first right now, but can we maintain our lead until the end? That is the question. Go. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, we're almost lapping that one. Come on. 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 Yes, baby! We did it. We did it. All right. Oh, man. That was the closest race I've ever had for this. What a race. You were like a supersonic snowman. I was like a spiel over here. Your prize is a multi-moon. That is absolutely lovely. I would love the multi-moon. I would love to get out of this kingdom because we have done enough over here. First place, Sphiel. Second place, Sphiel. Third place, Sphiel. Actually, first place is Ash Ketchum with Mario's body but his own head, apparently. What a great victory we had over there. Now let's fly back to the Odyssey and go to the next kingdom, the Seaside Kingdom. Okay, so... Oh, oh, and Cappy said something about the sun's out, but it's still freezing. Man, it is starting to get very, very cold where I am living right now. We're starting to see some temperatures below zero degrees. And by below zero degrees, I mean below zero degrees Celsius, which is the freezing temperature, which is what, 32 Fahrenheit? Yeah, it's 32 Fahrenheit. Okay, it's been a while since I've uh, had to convert temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I remember there was a certain temperature where they're equal to each other. Is it minus 40? Yeah, minus 40 Fahrenheit and Celsius are the same. Oh my goodness, that is uh, quite cold, minus 40. So if someone ever says the temperature is minus 40, then you don't have to ask, is it Celsius or Fahrenheit? Here we are, the Seaside Kingdom. Oh, and look who we have up there. Look who the boss is. Who's drinking from that straw there? It is none other than Kyogre. And look at the Pikachus over here, the pirate hats. How cool is that? I think they look great. Okay, so let's head over here. Maybe there'll be something nice for us this way. Oh, and look at the little guys down there. Instead of the pieces of seaweed, there are those guys. Are they called Cradley? Is that their name? I can't remember what their name is. Uh-oh. Okay, that was weird. My game crashed last time when I was heading over here. I don't know what happened, but it looks like it's working fine now, so I guess that's all right. Wait, is there a gushin around here? I thought that there was a gushin around here. Where are the gushins going to be? I thought that there were gushins around here. Oh, or maybe you could get one from somewhere else and bring it to here, and then that'll be a good strategy. Maybe that's the way that it works. Okay. Well, let's just go over here, I guess. Let's be on the lookout for where some power moons could be. Okay, let's look out for these guys over here. They look like little troublemakers over here. Man, this is a pretty cool Pokemon in Gen 3. I think, if I remember correctly, it was a rock grass type Pokemon. It's the evolved form of one of the fossils that you can get. Okay, so let's see. Where do we want to go? Where, oh, where do we want to go? What do we want to do? Oh, let's go get that Magikarp over there so then we can swim around a bit. Magikarp! I choose you! Okay, nice. We got the Magikarp. Amazing. Okay, so where are we going to want to go? Where are the power moons at? Wait, what's this down here? Oh, that's just a bubble blower over there. Bubble buddy, bubble buddy. Let's go bubble fishing or jelly fishing. That's what it was, not bubble fishing. Okay, there's a sphinx over here. Oh wait, do I have to come out of this guy to talk to you? Go elsewhere. Okay, fine, I'll go elsewhere. Let's speak. Oh, look how dizzy the Magikarp is. What is the name of this land? This is Bublane. I know that because that is the theme that plays over here. The Bublane theme, one of the coolest themes in the game. Okay, let's take our Magikarp back. Come in here. Hey! All of a sudden my Magikarp is gone! Ah, oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Okay, but we get this Power Moon over here. Let's just make our way out. It looks like nine more Power Moons we have to get. 
I'm guessing that we have to get nine more power moons. Yeah, the way some of these fish move is a little weird right now. Oh, and look at that, look at that. There's a Lapras over there instead of a Dory or Plessy. I think that that Lapras looks absolutely fantastic. How good does that Lapras look? This has to be one of the coolest changes to the game. Like, how good is that? How cool does that look? And look, we're on a Magikarp on a Lapras. How amazing is this? This just looks way too good. Oh, and there's the guy that we need. This is the guy that we need. I need you. Come here. I will capture you, Sharpedo. And it's so funny how they attack you from behind like that. Okay, let's get going. Let's see. Oh, we could probably just uh, fly up here, right? We could come here. Go like this and go. Okay, now spread out. Okay, spread out a bit. Okay, now just let me down here. Let me down. I'll just get this power moon right over here. Nice and easy power moon for us. Very good. Yeah, I think the first time that I was here, I thought that this area right here where we got this power moon, I thought that this would have been like in Super Mario Sunshine where you have to clear all the goop. Except it's like fire goop over here. Okay, you know what? Let's actually do the ground pounds over here. Let's take on the Kyogre boss fight because why not? It looks really cool. Kyogre is a cool Pokemon. Kyogre and Groudon, man. Ruby and Sapphire were both such good games. I absolutely love those games. I'd love to play them on my channel. And you know what? Especially Omega Ruby and Omega and Alpha Sapphire. I think that's what they're called, right? Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire on the 3DS. Those games are on the 3DS, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, I've actually never played those versions of the game. I've only played the original Ruby and Sapphire. And I played, I think I played a little bit of Emerald. I remember wanting to get Pokemon Emerald, uh, especially a little while after it came out. But, man, Emerald was just so expensive in the used game market, so I could never get it. Oh, it looks like there's actually a shiny spot down there. I wonder if there's going to be a Power Moon down here. Let's see. Hopefully this is a Power Moon. Hey, that's not a Power Moon! Just a bunch of these guys appeared. You troublemakers, and my Sharpedo ran away too. Oh man, that's so sad. Wait, do we have to go through here if we want to make it to the lighthouse? I'm not sure. I don't know if I've ever been here before. Have I ever been here before? Underwater tunnel to the light. Bro, come on, come on, come on. We got hurt by a Magikarp. How sad is that? How do you get hurt by a Magikarp? Okay, let's just come through here. Hello there, Magikarps. Ah, oh, Gyarados! Okay, there's the Gyarados. Oh, another Gyarados. Wait, maybe we have been here before. Okay, there's another Gyarados. Oh, it's so funny that we are a Magikarp and Gyaradoses are coming out and attacking us. Okay, we're almost dead. Imagine if we died to a Gyarados. We almost did. Wait, where's the next Gyarados gonna come from? I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, come up. Come up. You know, come through here. Good job. Now, come on. Come on. Just let me get healed. Let me get healed. Don't kill me, Magikarp. Good, good, good. We got a bit of health here. Hey, okay, now where are we gonna go? Hooray! We made it out safely. Okay, and we're through the pipe. Oh boy, that was some spooky stuff over there. But get the checkpoint, and we get the power moon over there. We can just see the coyote, Kyogre floating in the background there. Okay, so we've got another one of these switches that we can hit, which is very nice because now another one of these corks are gonna come out and hit Kyogre over there. Bonk on the head. And just two are left now, so if we could get one of the Sharpedos to over there. Oh, and there is just a Sharpedo over there, so that's perfect. Let's go like, I don't know if this can reach. Yes, that can reach, good. Let's just come on over like this. And we should just be able to capture this fella here. And that's so nice how we were able to come over quickly. Yeah, because your swimming is a bit slower than your normal movement. So we were able to just jump most of the way, which was lovely. And now we get another power moon over here. And then the last one is just gonna be up top near the start. Oh, and there's another cool power moon that we could also get near the start. And there's apparently a volleyball mini game over here. I don't think I've ever played it. I've never gotten the power moon, but I heard that that's quite difficult. I heard some people say that it is more difficult than the jump rope mini game in the Metro Kingdom. And that one, it was pretty hard to get to 100. Is this where the nice moon in the side is? It looks like it, because there's something... Hey, I was hoping that we would make that. That was so close. I knew that I could have thrown Cappy. But, yeah, I was hoping that it would work without it. Okay, wait. What's a nice way to do this? We can go like this. And, come on. And, there we are. Okay, very good. Now we can just come over like this. And, get the moon. Very good. Great job, Ash Ketchum. Yeah, normally you might want to bring a Sharpedo in here. Well, I guess normally it's not a Sharpedo. Normally it's a Gushin. But for us, we could either bring a Gushin or a Sharpedo over there. Okay, and the last one that we need... Wait a minute, what in the world? 
Pikachu! Look out, Pikachu! Is there just a power moon up here? How are we gonna get to the one up there? Hold on. Yeah, there's just a power moon up there. Oh, if we had a gushin', then we could get up there nicely. But can we get up there like this? I don't know if we can. Let's see. Oh! Oh, we might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. Let's see, this is a little tricky. I don't know if we can make it. Let's see. Come on. Jump and... Yeah, you can make it up like that. Man, that is quite tricky. That is a... L that jump really tests the limits of how high vertically you can go. Okay, so where we are going to want to go is, of course... Oh, nope, that's not the one. Somewhere over here. Look out, pirate Pikachus. Those pirate Pikachus, they almost look like characters that you would see in a Mario Party game. It looks like the outfit that you'd see in a Mario Party game. Okay, let's just... Like this. We're doing a great job at avoiding these. Oh, and that's almost our cue for getting hit. Oh, and did you guys see the female Pikachu back there? Hold on, I... I want to actually go back and show you guys. Yeah, so you can bring a Goomba stack over here to that female Pikachu. How good does that look? You know, I actually want to do it now. Oh, no, but, uh... No, we could do that in the Luncheon Kingdom. Yeah, in the Luncheon Kingdom. We'll have another opportunity to do that. We'll have another opportunity to do that in the Luncheon Kingdom. Okay, now let's just blast through here. Wow, I'm actually surprised that none of those spikes at all hurt us. We didn't get hurt by a single one of those spiky balls. Okay, so... We've got a switch to ground pound over here, and that's the last one! Looks like Kyogre is gonna be angry now! It's gonna be time to battle Kyogre over here. Where are you going, Kyogre? Kyogre falls down, and... You ready to battle, bro? Ready to battle, bro? I'm ready to battle. You wanna battle? I'll come and ground pound on your head. You want that, bro? You ready to get ground pounded on? Time for us to take back the sparkling water. Okay, let's go. Oh, you can spit out some of those, huh? I don't wanna get hit by this. Come here. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Time to battle! I shall catch up to you, and I shall ground pound on your head! Are you prepared? Oh, you're stuck back there! That means I can get you! I'm gonna get you! I... What the?! Oh, oh, because its head is normally on fire! Oh, that's why. I actually have to get above you over here. Now I have to put out the fire. Come on. Did I put out the fire yet? Come on. Oh no, I'm all out of uh, water actually, and I only have one HP. This is getting extremely dangerous here. Okay, I think now I can ground pound on him, right? Oh, whoa, 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 don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I'm running away, I'm running away. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I'm very, 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 very scared. Stop your spitting. Okay, I think over there that chest has a max up part for us. Let's just go over there and get that. Do I go for that or the checkpoint flag? Go for this, go for this, go all in, go all in. Take the risk and. Wait, it's a max apart. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we are at six health. We are at one health. Now we are at six. Okay. That was a little scary. Now we can grab this. Come over here. Get him. Good. Now, we are going to go ground pound on that Kyogre's head. You ready, Kyogre? Are you ready? Are you ready, you little blue ogre? You blue ogre monster? We are going to press the Z button when we are above your head. We are going to ground pound on your head. Are you prepared? Are you prepared for trouble? Are you ready to make a double? Protect the world from devastation. Let me bounce on your head, bro! What are you doing? Oh my goodness. All I wanted to do is ground pound on his head, but he just keeps running away. Okay, let's try this again. Try and catch up to him. Whoa, that exploded near me. Okay, let's come on over here. Oh, oh, looks like you're gonna have to stop soon. Hey, right, come. Now go. There we go! We finally got a ground pound on your head! Oh, and he spun around and he hurt us a little bit. Get him! Good, good, good. We got this one. Where are you going, Kyogre? Where are you going? Where are you trying to escape to? Where are you trying to escape? Why is Kyogre spinning like this? This looks so silly. Let's see. Come. Come! Oh, now you're shooting red drills at us, huh? Huh, oh, you think that's gonna help you? You think that's gonna help you defeat us? You think you're gonna deal some damage onto us with this strategy that you've got over here? You think that'll work? You think a cheap little trick like that'll hurt me, Mario? The- Okay, okay, maybe if I can't catch you, then maybe it'll actually be good for you. Wait, 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 I gotta get some of these Sharpedos over here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on now. Oh, are you stopping finally? Let's go, and... Will this defeat you or no? Oh, yes, he's defeated! Okay, and all of a sudden he transformed back into this for the cutscene. That's fine. He's gonna get a brain blast. Too bad Kyogre couldn't have a brain blast. Wow, that was a big explosion. And wait, I think we don't need any more power moons after we get this one, right? I don't think we actually need any more power moons. 
Yeah, because we only need two more power moons, and this is worth three. So that's perfect. We have more than enough power moons. Next up is the Luncheon Kingdom. And yeah, you need quite a few power moons for that kingdom, actually. There's quite a bit that you have to do there. Glass is half full. Ash doesn't even look happy in this cutscene. Okay, so now we can make it to the Luncheon Kingdom. And then after that, is it the Bowser King? Oh, 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 then you try to go to the Bowser Kingdom, and then it's the Ruin Kingdom before that, actually. I almost forgot about that one. And that's where we're gonna have the Dragon Boss. And you guys are gonna see what the dragon is. That's a very exciting one. Yeah, because we already know that Bowser is Charizard. What is the Dragon Boss going to be? What do you guys think? You could leave your guesses in the comments. And the Luncheon Kingdom, there's just so much to do here. There are so many Power Moons that you can collect. Power Moons everywhere. Man, and playing Hide and Seek with Power Moons in this level with friends was fun. It was fun to make and play those mods. Okay, so let's make our way through this kingdom. Ah, oh, look at how adorable all the Pikachus are over there. Okay, so let's make our way up here. Can we do this? Come on, baby! No! Let's try this again. Let's go like this, and... Come on, and... There we go! We made it! All right, okay, that is such a cool jump. Okay, let's come here and get that Power Moon. All right, okay. Piled on the salt. That is a very nice first Power Moon for us. Now we can just make our way down here. Let's run to here. Oh, oh, and look at what we have instead of the exploding tomato, guys. We've got Slugmas like this. Whoa! Oh, that's actually so funny how they behave like that. That's great, okay. And there's just a Power Moon back here. I don't think I even knew that there was a Power Moon back here. I saw this in Small Lion's video. Oh, oh, and uh, you guys saw the little Cyndaquil jumping up there. Okay, let's come here first, though. Because now it's time for another brutal fight. Look at this. There are only three Brutals on this ship now. Are we gonna face Charmeleon again? Come on down, Charmeleon. It's time to battle you. Okay, let's try and do the fight a bit faster this time. Let's go. Come on now. Hey, 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 What are you doing, bro? Bro, bro, bro. Come on, come on, bro. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, now focus, focus. Get ready to go. Go. No, I missed him. Oh, this is so much worse than last time. Bro, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh, but we get to see Charmeleon moving around like this. It's quite comical. Okay, let's see. Okay, you're coming to the center over here. Okay, let's get him like this. Get him. Get him and jump on him. And there we go. Okay, now get ready. When he starts to move, that's when you want to jump. Go. There we go. Okay, now let's get ready. And come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got to jump on him. I got to jump on him. I got to jump on him. Oh, boy. And we're down to three hearts. That means we don't have our boosted max health anymore. That's so sad. Charmeleon was such a troublemaker. Just like Charizard is. It's funny that we have Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. We have the full evolution set over here. Okay, but we got a nice power moon for this. Okay, so let's just make our way across here. Now this will be a nice place to go. And hold on, I think there's also a moon up here somewhere, right? Well, there isn't one here, right? Okay, no, there's not one over here, but let's get up here, baby! And look at that shiny spot there. Lovely moon for us. Overlooking a bunch of ingredients. Uh, literally looking over them, not overlooking them, as in we forgot to consider them. That's not what they mean by that. Okay, let's come on over here and will you boost me up? Boost me up, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and now there's one to break over here, so let's just do that. And are we doing a nice jump or are we doing just a regular jump over here? Let's see. Oh, I fell. Great. That did not work as I thought it would and had hoped it would, but we do get this power moon right over here. Is this an ingredient too? No, this is just a power moon. No, this is Patrick. Ah, what a funny joke. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Okay, let's put that in there. Oh boy, that just barely fit actually. Okay, is this where the power moon spawns? Where's the power moon? Oh, it's off to the side over there. Okay, let's go. Oh, I wanted to dive into it actually. Oh, and look, there's Mew back there. Mew might give us a hint maybe, but that's okay. We've already spoken with Mew and that is enough speaking with Mew. Okay, so let's, this might not reach. This might be bad. This is gonna be bad. This is bad. This is very bad. There's nothing we can do now. We're gonna die! And we just see the Cyndaquils jumping in and out of the lava there. Let's get on top of this pillar over here. And don't jump past it. Good job not getting past it, okay. Now, can we make it to there from here or no? Yeah, we can make it to there. We can definitely make it to there. That's lovely, okay. Now, oh, look at this, look at this. Instead of a fire, bro, we've got a Cubone over here. How good is this? This is one of my favorite ones, actually. Oh, boy, this looks so good. Yeah, because it's a nice Gen 1 Pokemon also. And look at that. Instead of throwing frying pans, he's throwing bones like that. That's amazing. I'm so happy with how this one looks. That's amazing. 
Okay, and we can go and get a power moon over there. That'll be nice for us. So let's just go ahead and head down there and get that one. And look at the, what is that green thing? It's some kind of jelly bean or something that we kicked. It's just floating around. Okay, but there are a lot, a lot, a lot of power moons that you need in this kingdom. There's still a lot of power moons that we need. There's some there to the right that we can go and get. There's one or two that we can get over here. If we go up there, then we'll get brought up to the top. Oh, and look who it is! Look who's flying up there! It's ho -Oh! And it's so funny that it's not flapping its wings. That actually looks so funny. Okay. So let's go like this. You know what? Let's catch this Cyndaquil over here. All right. The fire starter from Gen 2 is over here. Cyndaquil. And you know what? You know what's funny about this? Oh! Okay, good, good. That does spawn that for us, which is nice. But the funny thing is, you might think that Slugma would look really good at replacing those lava bubbles that ride around in this pink goop. But Slugma also fits so well for these lava balls over here. So it's a tough choice because you don't want both of them to be Slugma, so what do you do? What do you do? It really is a tough situation. Because there are... Oh boy, yeah, because for some captures, it's hard to find what Pokemon would be good to uh, replace them, actually. Wait, have I ever been in here before? Oh wait, we should probably get up. Wait, can I go like this? Okay, let's see. How hard is this? Oh, I didn't think that that would work. I thought we would bonk there, and I thought we'd have to try again, actually. Okay, but that's fine. We've got this Power Moon now, so that's very nice. Uh, there's also some stuff that we could get down there. We could get this one, too. We could bring this back. I guess we might as well bring this one back. This is probably a kind of slow one. But hey, I'm not too efficient at this kingdom, so it's okay if we're a little slow. And it's so cool to just see Pokemon running around like this. Wait, wait, wait. I actually want to get up there. No! Wait, what defeated that guy? Wait, bro. Move! Okay, good. Now let me get up here and get up there. And let me go like this and grab it. Perfect! Perfect, that's exactly what I needed. Now then, can I bring you up here, my friend? Can I go like this? And... Amazing, amazing. Okay, I was worried that we'd actually fall from that side. I thought that would be slippery, but it looks like it's fine. That goes in there. Give me the power moon. Give it to me. Where is it? Is it where I am, or do we have to move? Oh, no, it's that way. Okay. Oh, and we didn't even fall onto it. That's fine. That's all right. Okay, we've got ten power moons. We need about eight more. You know what? Let's grab some of these fellas over here. Give me that Cyndaquil over there. Let's swim around in this lava. Okay, so there should be a power moon. Is it over there? Because that looks shiny over there, so it's probably here. So let's go like this. And yeah, right there is a nice power moon for us. Lovely. Island of salt floating in the lava. Now, hold on. There's a Cyndaquil to catch around here, right? Where's the Cyndaquil? Come. Get it! Hey, it got away! Okay, where's it gonna go now? Over here. I see the lava coming out. Go! There we go. We got it. We got it. Lovely. And absolutely lovely. Now, what if we come up here? Will there be anything nice for us in here? What's normally in here? I don't remember. Oh, oh, it's this section. Okay, so we have done this before. I don't know if I've done it in my main playthrough, or if we've only done it in mods, actually. That's the thing. Oh, 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 actually, come now. Good. Now come here, okay. Now go there, and get me. Good job, bro. Now get him, go. Bring me up, okay. And wait, I think you can actually just flick this way. I Oh, oh, okay, okay. That would have been horrible if there wasn't anything down there. Maybe you actually have to shake your controller for that part, but wait, wait, wait. You should just be able to jump around nicely like this and get that. That is absolutely perfect. Well, I guess it could have been a bit better. We probably didn't have to do that happy stall in the air. That probably just slowed us down a bit. But we have got a few power moons and this is looking all right. So let's just come on down here. Let's grab this fella over here. Okay, I guess we'll grab this fella over here then. Okay, that's a good fella to grab over here. Oh, and we can probably climb up from here, right? Can we reach up there? Amazing! Amazing, we did it. Now, get me here. Come on now. Come on now, let me up here, please, folks. Let me up here, please. Thank you all very much. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Okay, I can't sneak past there. So you know what? I guess we're gonna have to go over here. Oh wait, can I grab your head? I can't grab your head. You just want to talk to me. I want to grab your head, and you're trying to talk to me? Come on now. Let's think about this. Okay, let's grab one of these Cyndaquils. And with this Cyndaquil, let's go swimming over there. I have a sneeze coming up soon. I might be sneezing in a moment. And let's just grab this treble clef, and we'll grab the power moon on that island too. So with both of these power moons, then we will only need three more after that because we currently need five, right? Yeah. So this should be fine. Come on, let's get him. 
Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now there'll just be one more power moon to get on this island. We just have to go into that pipe and then we go through the 2D section. That should be fine. Then all we have to do is go get the multi moon. And then we can go to the next kingdom after that. So let's go down this pipe. Wow, we slid through that pipe quite quickly. Okay, hammer bro, stop your hammering. Oh boy, they didn't stop their hammering. In fact, they hurt me. I have only two HP right now, in fact. I'm a little scared, in fact. In fact, I'm a little frightened. Whoa. Okay, get this. Good. Now look out, bro. I'm coming here. I'm gonna run past here. Nothing's gonna hurt me. Actually, I'll get hurt and I'll just damage boost through. So that's what I meant to say. Yeah, because if something hurts you when you have two HP, that's okay. And it's right by the power moon, so that's fine. Okay, so, wait, can I teleport to here? Uh, I don't know if I got the checkpoint flag there or not, so let's just go like this. Where are you going? Come! Oh, you, come! Good, good, good. Okay, so you want to get up there? Well, uh, the bird, the ho -oh up there wants that slab of meat. Oh, did any of you ever see the movie Pokemon 2000? I remember watching that, and there's Lugia in it. And, yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, so let's come here. Bring me up, please. Okay. Let's just keep making our way up here. Bring me up, please. How high shall we go? We shall go to the very top. To the tippy top. Bring me here. Oh, I was hoping that my Cappy would reach that. Okay, but that's fine. Now we can just come here. Okay, bring me up, please. A little more. There's the checkpoint flag. Okay, so it looks like we didn't get the checkpoint flag before. Okay, let's press B repeatedly for Twitch. And I don't mean Twitch like the live streaming service. That's not what I mean over here. We are a slabbing. We are slabbing. We are a twitching slab of meat. I love how ho -Oh just comes and grabs us like this. It's like it's T-posing. That is what- Wait, are you okay? Oh, okay. I was wondering if it would be able to pick us up. That's so funny how it moves. I love this. This is so good. Okay, ho -Oh just brings us up over here. And... Drop us down. Now we can just go and get that multi-moon over there. Oh, don't get burned. And now just come up there. And there we are. Good job, Mario. I'm very happy for you and how things are going. Because now we can go to the next kingdom. Cavi will say that it's the Bowser kingdom, but we might have a little surprise before we go to the Bowser kingdom. You guys might get to see what the dragon looks like and who replaces the dragon now. Oh, what's ho going to do? ho is very angry now. ho like, I am a legendary bird. And wait. Didn't Ash see a ho -Oh very early in the Pokemon anime and his Pokedex? Wasn't his Pokedex unsure of what it was or something? Because I remember his Pokedex was acting strangely. Or there was something funny about his Pokedex when he tried to identify what it was. Mario's blasting off again! Okay, 120 power moons. That is the total number of stars in Super Mario 64. If you don't count the one that you get at the end from defeating Bowser. But... Time for us to go to, apparently, the Bowser Kingdom. Wait a second. Oh, that can't be good. Yeah, we're not going to go to the Bowser Kingdom right away. Something's gonna stop us, Cappy. Well, I guess there's no way for Cappy to know that. It's not like Cappy has played this game multiple times for Cappy. This is the first time Cappy is experiencing this. So here we are. We are flying through the clouds, and Ash Ketchum's just looking outside through the window. Man, it'd be pretty cool to have an Odyssey. Would you guys want to have an Odyssey like that, and you can just fly wherever you want? Well, back to our investigation. Next up, we have... Wah! Yeah, Cappy was about... Bowser in the Bowser Kingdom. That Bowser? Oh, look, all of a sudden, our ship is shaking over here. What? Are we shaking? Why? We run outside. Let's see what it's going to be. What's it going to be? Oh, my goodness. Look at how Charizard's just sticking up from that. But what is that? It is a giant, shiny Charizard. Look at its neck. Oh, boy. That looks so creepy. Oh, man. How many people thought that that's what it would be? I was thinking maybe Dra Let's see you survive this, Plumber Boy. It's so funny how Charizard is just inside its head. I thought that it'd be really cool to have maybe a Dragonite. Oh, Ash's face is so funny when they're getting hit with that electricity there. I was thinking maybe Dragonite would be cool, but you know what? This black Charizard looks fantastic, too. Yeah, we're gonna have to face off against that Dragon Boss now. And this Charizard over here... He's gonna fly away that way. And then we're gonna have to go and chase him at the Bowser Kingdom soon. But first, we have another Charizard that we have to take care of. Oh, wouldn't you know it? The Odyssey is broken again. Yeah, how funny is that? That that just keeps happening, okay? We want to make our way up here. There is a Power Moon that we can get down there. But first, let's go... Well, actually, not only first. We're not even going to go get that Power Moon down there because we don't even need it because we are facing off against a boss right now. Who's gonna come out over here? This background reminds me of Fire Emblem. Guys, 
How is the new Fire Emblem game? Should I play the new Fire Emblem game? Actually, I don't even know how new it is. Uh, it's called Three Houses, right? It's on the Nintendo Switch. Because, yeah, I played Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on the GameCube, and I absolutely loved that game. That game was so great. It was one of my favorite games ever. I liked it a lot. But, yeah, I haven't played any other Fire Emblem games since then. Really or at all? I can't, I can't think of if I've played any Fire Emblem games other than that. But let's see, we want to avoid this over here. Looks like we're doing fine, okay. Let's just come on up here. Go like this. Okay, now let's pull off. Wait, how high do we have to go? Where are they? Where are they? Where are the things? Get them. Oh, run off. Run off. Run off. Oh boy, that was so weird. That was so weird. Okay, yeah, because the swords that we have to get rid of, they're kind of stuck inside his head a little bit. It's a little hard to see them. I don't think I've ever messed up on the first attack, because we have to get three attacks onto Charizard like that. I don't think I've ever messed up the first one. So this might actually be a little bit of a tricky fight over here. Yeah, we definitely want to be careful to not take damage here. And we basically just want to weather out this storm over here. Metaphorical electric storm over here. Oh, and what's that? Wait, 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 where are the guys? Is that all of them? There we go, there we go, we got all of them. Okay, and there, now we got to damage him with the ground pound. Okay, now we're gonna get pushed off, right? Yeah, okay. So yeah, the model for this Charizard and the model for the dragon, they are a bit different. That does make things a little tricky sometimes. Uh, let's see. Good, good, good. Now are you gonna fall or are you gonna attack again? You're falling, that's good, let's see. Are there gonna be any of those gates that we have to walk through basically? Or are we good? Looks like we're good over here. Looks like we're good. Pull out that one. Pull it out. Okay, now how many here? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Any more? Oh, I gotta run, I gotta run. Oh, I was hoping that I'd be able to get one more hit on him, but nope. Nope, okay, so so far we have one hit on him. And we have a bunch of those uh, sword things. We have a bunch of those sword things removed on him, so we should be able to get a second hit onto him nicely soon. Okay, that's a great way to avoid those. Sometimes those spinning circles of electricity are a little tricky. Let's see how we can do over here. Let's see, just jump like this. This is a bit like that one uh, Splatoon. Splatoon 3 level that we have, actually. And what is that? What is that? What Pokemon is that? Whoa, oh, and you guys are up here too? Okay, good, 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 and there we go. Second ground pound on him. We only need one more ground pound. It's great that we haven't taken any damage yet. This is fantastic. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. I actually forgot about this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we didn't avoid it. We didn't avoid it. Let's just get another heart, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Whoa, boy. Okay, you know what? I don't know if that heart's gonna disappear. I'm just gonna come here for now. Try and get as many of these as we can. Let's go up to the top floor. Up floor, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are these guys at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, gotta run, gotta blast. Gotta blast. Is the heart still here or is it gone? Thank goodness it's still here. Okay, that's good. So we're at full health again, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's run here. Let's run here. Oh, I was about to say good job avoiding all of them, and then that happened. Then we got hit right before I was able to say it. it whoa! Well, one HP, one HP. That's scary. That's very scary. You know what? I'm actually going for a heart. I know this might be silly going for a heart right now, but I'm so scared of those fuzzy guys defeating us. Actually, can we get up there? Do we have time? No, he's about to wake up. He's about to wake up, grab a brush, put on a little makeup. Yeah, we want to be careful. Let's get ready. Okay, and we can go like that. And we avoided all of them. Very good, very, very good. That was great. That was a great time for a triple jump over there. Let's just be careful over here. Good job avoiding that all my bro. Good job, Mario. Mario and Ash Ketchum combined. My Mario Ash Ketchum friend. Hey, come on, come on. Where are the things? Is that all of them? Yes, and there's the ground pound. Okay, so it looks like he only had one of those sword things left. And the dragon shall be defeated. And he's gonna slam down his head like that. Nice try, Charizard. Looks like we're getting a shiny Pokemon today. Okay, and where are you? Right there, perfect. And I love how the Charizard's just in the background like this. Ash Ketchum has a serious look on his face because he knows that he just defeated a tough opponent. That's tougher than any gym leader he's faced off against. No gym leaders were at, wait, were any gym leaders ever attacking Ash directly? I don't know if they were, maybe they were actually. And now it's going to be time for one of the last kingdoms over here. Let's just add in our three power moons and then we can go to the Bowser kingdom. This will be fantastic. 
Oh, that's right, and the Odyssey is now going to be restored. All it needed was three Power Moons, and that's enough energy to almost fully restore our Odyssey. Wow. So let's get going out of here. We stopped by the final detour spot. Actually, I don't know if the next kingdom can be considered a detour or not, but it's time for us to move on. And look at the Charizard there in the background. Look at that bright light on the Odyssey as we move through these clouds over here. And we've got 123 power moons. There is Ash Ketchum looking out the window again. It is a dark and stormy night over here. Actually, I don't know if it's nighttime, but it is dark and stormy. Well, that was certainly a doozy. Ash looks like he's either completely unfazed or in shock from what just happened. And he has a great poker face. And it is now the Bowser Kingdom. For those of you that have played this game before, do you remember the first time that you were here? Did you think that this was the final kingdom in the game? I definitely did. Ever since the Cloud Kingdom, I was thinking that almost every kingdom was the final kingdom of the game. Oh, look at how great that guy is. How great is that guy? Man, that actually fits so well for the model. This is it. The showdown. I don't know about that, Cappy. All right, let's get in here. Wait. Oh, look at the hats that the Pikachus have over here. Oh, they've got these nice hats over here. Okay, let's go like this. Let's stack up these Pikachus, because, yeah, we want to make a Pikachu stack over here instead of a Goomba stack. It's so adorable that you can just stack up these Pikachus. Look at the way that they move. It's so nice. Okay, let's stack up all these Pikachus. Want to get this Pikachu, too? There we go. Now we got a nice big Pikachu stack over here, and... We have enough Pikachus to activate that button over there. And that makes that spot. Just look at how many Pikachus that is. Oh my goodness. I think that it is fair to say that I've never seen that many Pikachus stacked on top of each other before. Okay, so let's go the next area now. Maybe we can get another Power Moon suit. Wait. Oh, oh, and how cool are these? Look at these. I almost forgot about these. Yeah, so these over here are Pidgey. So look at this. We just poke our beak out like that. It actually looks like our beak is going to break sometimes, but... It's a great attack that we have over here, and there is, okay, get it, get it, get it, get it, Pidgey, get it, Pidgey, good job, Pidgey. Yeah, and you'd think that maybe Pidgey can fly, but uh, yeah, maybe normally Pidgey can learn the move fly, but this Pidgey over here doesn't fly. This Pidgey over here, it only knows the attack Peck, which is a flying type move. Yeah, and we can use Peck on those over there. It defeats them in a single hit. It almost feels like we're playing Pokemon when you're moving around as a Pokemon and you're attacking other Pokemon. Okay, so what we can do also is we should be able to activate that. Yeah, and now can we get all these in time? Let's see. Good. Stuff, my bro. There we go. Okay. Oh, and the moon's uh, back there. I thought that maybe it'd be here. Such a cool color for the power moon. It's like a blood red. Stop bonking, Mario. Okay, a very nice red over here. I knew that we would bonk right there. Why did we still go for it? Okay, so let's head this way now and come here. Crush me! Crush me! What is this guy called? Because this guy, he's from one of the generations of Pokemon games that I actually haven't played before. He has to be 5, 6, or 7, or maybe even 8. I don't remember what generation is 8. The newest one is 9, right? Scarlet and Violet, I think that they are Generation 9 now. I don't even know how many Pokemon generations there are. Man, I just remember playing Pokemon Diamond, and then after that I was just playing no video games for a few years. Then when I checked back, there were all kinds of new Pokemon games that I'd never heard of, and then I ended up hearing all kinds of great things about them. All right, so let's just make our way over here, folks. Okay, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, we're just making our way over here. Let's come across here. Oh, this isn't the area that I thought we would be at yet. This is a different area. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to want to do here? Let's get one of these. Oh, we can just grab you like that. Okay, anything over there that we want? Oh, oh, there's some stuff over there. Wait a minute. Hold on. The level almost feels like it's mirrored for some reason. Everything is like backwards over here. Okay, let's see. You want to go like this. Get me up there. I'm so surprised that we actually didn't bonk there. Okay, let me get you again, my... Pidgey friend over here, my little Pidgey. You know, actually, I don't care about a Pidgey. I'll leave that Pidgey over there. We'll just come up here and grab that nicely, which will be lovely. Is there another one over here? Yes, there are more Pidgeys over here. Perfect, let's just grab the Pidgey. Good, good, good. Okay, so we got hurt, but we were able to come back. Go! Get that. You leave me alone, okay? Okay, good. And where's the final one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Because we need one more. Is it back here? Back here? Perfect, it's just back here, okay. Well, that's no big deal. We can, of course, bonk! Bonk! Keep bonking, Ash. Keep hitting your head against stuff. Keep doing that. Let's go and do some Pokemon battles after that. How about that, Ash, huh? Huh? Is it because Professor Oak isn't telling you to not bonk your head? Is that why you're doing it? 
get the power where Please just jump into it. Oh my goodness. How many times do I have to jump past it before I can get it? All right, let's, oh, oh, oh. Big brutal battle is coming up now. Well, this is going to be exciting. Let's just not bonk into some stuff. How about that? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, and I don't know how many power moons you need in this section before you can, uh, before you can make it to the next kingdom. I'm not sure how many you need. Okay, so let's just come here and get in place. Good job. Now we can get down. Oh, wait, these are called Jizzos, these guys over here, right? I think they're called Jizzos. Oh, you know what? We could have actually replaced those Jizzos with a... Get the power... Get that. Get it, please. Mario. There we go. Okay. We could have actually replaced those with a Bronzong, maybe. Even though the other guys would have not looked like Bronzongs. Maybe we could have replaced those guys with Bronzongs, too. I actually just thought of that right now, actually. Because almost every single capture has been changed. Okay, so let's come here. Oh, and some of these fights might be a bit difficult, actually. So who are we facing off against first? Yeah, because there's Jigglypuff and Chimchar. So adorable. How adorable is this? I love how Jigglypuff laughs. He goes, <laughs> and he bobs up and down like that. Okay, time to face Chimchar. Okay, I don't think that this one is going to be as tough, right? You're going to be throwing those two things at us, but you take a step back. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Now we're probably too far. Unless, yes, it worked, and... Nice hit, bro! Okay, now where are you running to? Where are you running to? Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, get him! No, 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 no! Go! Come on! Yeah, okay, okay! We managed to get a hit still. Very nice, okay. Let's stay like this. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Move back. And... Hit it! Yep! That worked! Now come! Come! Oh, no! I missed! I missed! Okay, that's fine. That's alright. Okay, now get ready. Get ready. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go! Oh no, I missed! Oh no, and you got me! This is bad news, but... Okay, we still got you here, this is alright, okay. Now you, just move back a bit. Oh, don't go to a crazy spot. Okay, now let's come here and get that. That should work, okay. Now just land on top of the head! Amazing dive onto the head over there, I'm so happy with that. Goodbye, girl Chimchar. And that statue over there just explodes now suddenly, okay. We only have two health, actually, so we want to be very, very careful going into this battle over here against Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, you better not use the attack sing on me. I don't want to fall asleep. I want to battle you. <laughs> the boss wasn't kidding when he said you two are persistent. All right, Jigglypuff, let's go. Oh, wait, and Jigglypuff is going to have a crazy amount of hats. Wait, that doesn't look like a lot of hats. Are you going to have more hats soon? Oh, oh, okay, I guess soon you're going to have more hats. Right now, you're not going to have very many. Okay, where are you going? You're right here. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. Where are you going? You're right there. Oh, no, you're this one. You're, I think you're this one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it almost hit me. Come on. Come on. Ah, I knew that that was the one, but I couldn't get him in time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I should be able to take off all your hats. And I'm going to jump on you, Jigglypuff. Look how defenseless it looks. Wait, is it uh this one here? I'm not sure. Oh, boy, that one. Nope, that wasn't the one. Okay, you know what? Give me, why don't you give me some hearts? Got any hearts? Got any hearts? Any hearts? Anyone? Hearts? 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 Please, hearts. Hearts, please. Okay, because you got a big stack over there. I'm scared. Go. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. One of you give me a heart. You got to give me a heart, bros. You got to give me a heart. Come on. One of you got to have a heart for me, right? Have a heart. Come on. Have a heart. Show some heart over here. Come on. I'm so scared of this guy. I'm so scared of this fella over here. This Jigglypuff fella over here. Come on. He's a puff and he is all jiggly. What's scary about that, you may ask? Well, I have one health. That's one of the scariest things. Okay. His hats aren't going to respawn, are they? Come here. Oh, boy. Come on now. I got you now. I got you now. The fight's over. The fight's over. The fight is over. We survived. Oh my goodness. I was so scared that we would die during that battle. And Jigglypuff is just on its back right now. And there we go. Jigglypuff is defeated. This statue explodes. We get a power moon. We're going to collect the power moon and our health is going to come back. And we are going to continue deeper into Bowser's castle. And I'm not jumping past the power moon this time. Very good. And Ash gets a lovely celebration here. Big brutal battle. It's all bees. It's an alliteration. Okay, we have finally reached the main courtyard over here. Okay, and we've got a few Pidgeys over here. So let's just uh, get that Pidgey over here. Let's jump across. Hello there, Nidoran. I'll just defeat you like that. Nidoran is, is it just poison or is it ground poison? Because I know when it evolves, eventually it becomes a ground poison if it becomes Nido Queen or Nido King. 
or if it becomes Nito Reno or Nito Rena. But yeah, just uh, just Nito Ren itself. Hold on, let's get rid of that guy. Yeah, just Nito Ren itself. Is it only a poison type? I think it might be just a poison type before it evolves. So it's kind of funny that a flying attack like Peck, and not only a flying attack, but a weak flying attack like Peck, could deal so much damage. Okay, bro, I need you to come down here. Come down here. Um, come, bro. Come on, let's go, bro. This guy's like a giant Hitmonchan, or Hitmonlee, and he's red. Um, um, it is time to crush. Good job crushing that, bro. Thank you, okay. And I think we don't actually have to defeat that guy, because defeating him doesn't give us a power moon or anything like that. Oh, and a funny thing about that block that we just crushed, if you use this peck attack on it... Oh, no! Come back, Bernie! No! Pidgey, just fly up! You can fly! Oh no, what did I do to that Pidgey? Oh boy, yeah, but as I was saying, that block up there that we just destroyed... Well, we didn't destroy it, that Pokemon up there destroyed it for us. If you use this peck attack on it, you can actually break that block if you hit it 50 or 100 times or something like that. Okay, I don't think he's gonna be able to reach us in time. Yeah, we got too high, so he can't stop us now. Ha ha ha! You can't stop us! Okay, I'm gonna come up. Come up and go! Good job. Now we just wanna make it up here. Come on up a bit more. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what we like to see. Come on up here. We are at the inner wall. Make your way up, please. Come on up. Oh, actually, come on up a bit more. Perfect! I remember last time, for some reason, I was really struggling with this. But now, there shall be no issues at all for us. We'll just make our way up here and just get this. Get the checkpoint. Very good, because if we die, then that's not going to be a problem. Oh! Oh! And there's an exciting boss fight coming up. I actually almost forgot about it. Let's see what it's gonna be. Here we are. Oh, and look, there's Bowser on the roof. I don't know if we need another Power Moon, because there's another Power Moon that you could get somewhere... Here, off to the side, but I can't remember where it is. Was it this? I don't think there's a power moon over here. Maybe it was off there to the side? No, there was a power moon somewhere over here that you could get. Oh, well, hopefully we have enough power moons. Or hopefully we're going to have enough after this battle. Bro, I don't need to be taking damage before this battle starts right now. Uh-oh, I'm a little worried now. We're going into this battle with 2 HP. I love how the hat covers his eyes. It's like he can't see. He's trying to be cool. He has the hat covering his eyes. Ash is so ready for this battle. I showed my sister a clip of this, and she said that the Ash Ketchum looks so funny. So this is going to be great. This is going to be a great moment over here. You're too late. What are you going to do, Charizard? We're off to our wedding ceremony on the moon. But Charizard, you can't even see where you're going. The hat is covering your eyes. <laughs> Ash Ketchum, help me! Alright, let's go! Run, Ash! Oh boy! And he could almost make it, but then he gets punched off by the hat over there. So sad for Ash Ketchum. Very sad times for Ash Ketchum over here falling down. So sad for him, so sad. And what's this? It is a giant brutal machine over here. Oh, look how it's all red. Wait, it isn't normally that color, is it? I guess maybe just a cupcake changed the color of it. But yeah, here are all of our Pokemon rivals from earlier. And Jigglypuff! A Jigglypuff is just way too funny. It is so funny that Jigglypuff is there with them. The Jigglypuff just looks way too funny. Because it looks like just such a goofy, silly little Pokemon and we're supposed to take them very seriously. Okay, so I can't hit that back at them yet. I need a Pidgey to spawn. Give me a Pidgey. Yeah, right there. That's what I need. For the Pidgey, okay, and... Come on, shoot out another ball. Go like this. Hey, okay, come on, give me one more ball. Give me a, give me another bomb. Give me another ball. Let's go like that. And there we go, you're falling over. Oh, what way are you gonna fall over? Like that, okay. Time for me to get up here then. Let's go like this. And... There we are. Uh-oh, Charmeleon, what's gonna happen here? We got you, bro. And, come on. And... Let's go, don't fall. Don't fall! Hey! Whoa! We are pushed off again, and... Come on! What? How did we bonk onto this? I'm in front of the ears! Bro, bro, I gotta get around this. Come here. I got you, bro! I got you, bro. This is looking pretty good so far. Okay. Now, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off! Come on, where are you? We're on you. We are on top of you. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop running around like crazy, bro. Stop this, stop this, stop this. Calm down. Calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. I feel like I'm on one of those bull mini games right now. I'm taking part in it. They try and knock you over. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop spinning. Just relax, bro. Because I... Bro, I fell for nothing. I stood up there all that time for nothing. Oh, my goodness. That is so incredibly sad that we would just fall like that. Okay, give me another Pidgey. Give me a Pidgey. Come on, I need a Pidgey. There we go. 
Hey, give me the Pidgey. Give me the Pidgey, okay. All right, I wonder if I could climb up its legs using the Pidgey. You know, shoot out some bombs and I'll send the bombs back at you. I thought we were doing so good at staying up there. Maybe I should have waited a little more. Okay, let's go like this. Oh, I'm almost dead. I forgot about that, actually. Oh, that's actually very bad. I should probably go and get a heart from over there. You know what? I've actually got to run away from this Pidgey. Ay -ay 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 good, good, good. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Now, where's my Pidgey friend? You know what? If I go for the Pidgey... Let's go for the Pidgey. You're gonna disappear, aren't you? Hey, you disappeared. You disappeared, bro. Okay, but there's another Pidgey over there. I wanted to go for this heart over here, too, because the rock should have a heart in it. Good. Good. Now let's just go and get the... Don't squish the Pidgey. Okay, that was a complete waste of time. Get the Pidgey. Bro, you squished the Pidgey. I can't even keep the Pidgey. Oh, my goodness. We are falling apart, everybody. Give me the Pidgey. Give me the Pidgey. Send the bomb back to them. Send me another bomb, please. Come on. Why is this boss fight being so difficult? It's not normally this difficult. I thought we were doing so well, everyone. It looked so good up until this point, everybody. Send me a bomb. Good. There we go. Now you're gonna fall over. I'm gonna climb up here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna climb up here. Oh, I can't climb up that one. Okay, let's go like this then. And I'll ground pound on you. And hopefully we could stay on without falling off. Let's see, where are you going now? Come on now. No! Come on! Oh boy, we made it, we made it, okay. Now there's just one more that we have to ground pound. We have to ground pound on that Jigglypuff at a good time, like now. Nope, 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 not like now. Bro, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? How did I end up down here? I thought I was up there. The camera made it look like I was up there. Oh man, I took a risk and it did not pay off, unfortunately. Let's see, send the bomb back. Oh, that didn't work. The bomb almost landed on me, in fact. Well, I guess we'll uh, be a Pidgey. We haven't been a Pidgey very long in this game, so I guess it's a good time to be a Pidgey. It's as good of a time as ever, as they say. Get it? Get it? Yes! Good, good, good. We hit the same leg twice. That's the best case scenario. Wait, what in the world? Ever seen it fall over like this, have I? Maybe I have if I've done the boss fight normally. Oh, look at that Jigglypuff up there. Hello there, Jigglypuff. We meet again, my pink friend. Bam! I'm gonna ground pound you. Oh man, my throat's getting very dry over here. Let me drink some more water. I've been playing this game for very long today. Mm. There we go. It's hard to do a lot of screaming like that. Man, your voice gives out. I don't know how some streamers can do it. How do they stream for like 8 or 12 hours a day? I don't know how they can do it without their throat giving out, even if you constantly drink water and everything. Okay, so we are going to take this multi-moon. Multi I keep thinking, should I say multi-moon or multi-moon? How do you guys say it? Okay, but this is a very nice background for Ash Ketchum to collect this multi-moon over here. And we are going to hopefully be able to go to the moon kingdom. I don't know if we're going to need any more power moons or not. Look at how his arms are out like that and he has that serious face. All right, let's fly back to the Odyssey now. Let's go. Ash Ketchum flies back with Cappy. And here we are. I like how he spins around like that. I love how we have a very similar facial expression the whole time. We're one step away and Bowser flew off to the moon. Let's go after him. Wait, and we have enough, right? Oh, I didn't see how many it said we need. I didn't see how many it said we need. I should probably take a look at that because maybe I'm wasting time by getting extra moons that we don't need. But we now have... Come on. Okay, it is filled up. We've got, what? 134 power moons. Absolutely splendid. The Odyssey is complete. Oh, I heard this one funny joke about the word complete and finished. There's someone that's learning the English language. They say, what is the difference between the word complete and the word finished? And they said, if you marry the right woman, then you are complete. If you marry the wrong woman, then you are finished. I thought that was a funny joke when I heard it. Man, that must have been years ago that I heard that. I don't know what the origin of that is. It's something that, like, back when people would send each other jokes on email, they would say stuff like that. But... I don't know, there must have been some comedian or something that came up with that. That's quite funny. I'd really like to know the origin of that joke, if anyone knows it. Oh, and look at this! Mario and Ash Ketchum, they look so good in this outfit. Oh, and I love that he still has a Mario cap. Uh, sorry, the Ash Ketchum head, I mean. Okay, so off to the moon we go, and we have got a nice big balloon over here. How are we going to breathe when we get to the moon? We don't even have to wear a spaceship. Ash looks so good in this. Oh, look at that. He's got his white tuxedo on, but he still has his normal Ash Ketchum hat over there. Wow, and off into the stars we go over here, and there is the moon. Ash Ketchum. Wait, has Ash Ketchum ever been to the moon? Because I haven't seen all of the Pokemon anime, so I don't know if he has.
So I'm not sure if this is Ash Ketchum's first time on the moon or not. And look at all those octillaries over there! And also those little moon snake rock things, they've been replaced with the Pokemon too. Just a cupcake added that one, I'm not sure what that Pokemon is. So let's get going! And the moon gravity is so cool, yeah, so I don't know if this is Ash's first time on the moon or not. But, we can of course make some nice jumps over here because gravity is really cool over here on the moon. Look at that, look at that, what is that? What is that Pokemon? What is that Pokemon? I don't know what that Pokemon is, because Just a Cupcake showed it to me. And I thought, you know what, that does look a lot like this, so that is a good choice. Let's go for it. Okay, and get a nice checkpoint flag over here. And then we can grab... Th oh! Then we can grab this over here. Oh, and look, there are uh, some Bowser footprints there. Let's grab this and let's head in here. And I think that there actually is a little shortcut that you could take by going around. I don't know how that shortcut works. And there are also going to be some new captures that we see down here. So let's go down here because otherwise we wouldn't be able to see some of the captures that we're going to see down here. Okay, so let's do this first. Wait, do I want to do that? No, I don't think that matters. I think we can just drop down over here. What are we gonna have instead of hair bones over here? Instead of flying dry bones, we've got these guys over here. How cool is that? I think these look really cool. Oh, this is such a fun Pokemon. I remember this guy in Gen 3 and the evolved form is also in Gen 3, but then in the fourth generation of Pokemon, in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, there was a new Evolve form introduced for them. I think it was in Gen 4. I think that's when it was first introduced. Okay, so let's go there. Oh, nice! And we even collected the heart by doing that. That's fantastic. Okay, can we jump across like this? Amazing! Let's knock off Blastoise's hat. So cool to be controlling a Blastoise like that. So cool, because Blastoise, he has the cannons over there, so he can shoot. Like, how well does that fit? Man, there's so many good choices that you can have for which Pokemon replaces which Mario Odyssey capture? Okay, can we go around this? Let's see, we might be able to skip this. Go, okay, good. Now, go like this, and come on, baby. Let's go, and very nice. Okay, so we didn't even really need that platform over there. Oh, and over here, we have some more Wurmples over here instead of Tropical Wigglers. Look at how they stretch out like that. It looks quite funny, okay. Now let's just be careful. Do I want to capture one of you? You know what? To be super duper, super extremely safe, we can go like this and go around. I have a bit of fear around this area because when I was playing hide and seek over here with Mayro, Mayro kept killing me over here, so I have to be very careful around that area. Right there in particular. Okay, and I'd like to reach the end here. Maybe do a long jump. Oh boy, I thought that I would hit that. Okay, but this is fine. Let's go. Wait, what's gonna happen here? Oh, Bullet Bill's gonna come out, right? Is it gonna be a wheezing or a big coughing? Wheezing, wheeze! Look at the giant wheezing over here. Yeah, cause- Oh! Boy, no! Come back up. Oh, nice! We can actually make it back up. I thought that we'd be dead. Yeah, because normally there's a uh, coughing that replaces bullet bills, but for the bonsai bills, which are the giant bullet bills, uh, you've got these guys instead. Okay, so let's come here. Now, what do we want from here? Anything nice on this side? Oh, well, over here we could probably take a coughing. Wait, can we take anybody? Oh, there's a wheezing. Okay, let's go. Get the wheezing. Get the wheezing. Bro, 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 bro. Come on. Gotta get this wheezing. Let's go. Get him, get him. Good, good, good. We got him. We got him. Let's go. Don't hit me. Don't hit me, bro. I don't know what exactly my, uh, my, what is it called? Oh, oh, oh. And we want to get this guy. Okay, let's do this first. Yeah, I don't know what exactly my, what's the word? Uh, what my collision? What's the word that I'm looking for, for collision? Like, I don't know where I would have gotten hit if I was the bullet bill, because the model for the, uh, bonsai bill and wheezing are a bit different. Look at that. There's going to be a boss battle up there. Okay, so, and look at this, instead of charging Chucks, we've got Machamps like this. Look at how angry they are when they charge you, that's so cool. And, we can of course charge up, and let's blast through these rocks. I almost ran off actually, that would have been very bad. Okay, let's come here, and I can't jump with this guy, so we do want to come up here like this. And these rocks can sometimes be extremely tricky. Let's go like this, uh, can I make it over you? And go like this. Whoa! I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Okay, I'm at 4 HP, this is bad. So if I get hit one more time, then I lose my extra... I lose I lose the possibility of having 6 HP maximum. How did I roll over that instead of bonking? That was so incredibly lucky. Oh man, okay, let's come up here. Hopefully we don't take damage during this boss fight, because it is time to face off 
against Groudon again over here. I always called him Groundon when I was a kid. I always thought it was Groundon because it's a ground type Pokemon. When I first saw him, I thought that he was a fire type or fire ground. Huh, do you remember me? You were rude to all the Brutals. Okay, and now the Electrode has multiple hats. Hopefully this Electrode doesn't use the attack explosion. That'd be very bad if it used the attack explosion on us. No, it hit us. It hit us, that's so sad, because we did catch it, but it did also hit us. Okay, let's go like that. And you can see that it is a gold chain chomp for just a moment. You can see it when you release it like that. Let's see, you can't reach me from there, right? Okay, you could almost reach. Let's go like that. And come on. Good time to catch it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's run away. Come on. Come on, let's run. Don't want to get swiped by that guy. There we go. Got you, just like that, two hits, we need just one more. It's too bad that we took damage, because our max health is down to three instead of six. Hey, where are you gonna go, bro? Over here, that's fine. Oh, I'm right beside you, I'm right beside you. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Why are we not getting him? Come on, come on! Oh boy, that was so weird that we did so many cappy throws there, but we just weren't taking off all the hats. Okay, let's go, is that enough? Okay, Madam Brood is tired. There we go, you are defeated. Is Electrode still going to just float here for a while? Because that's what happened last time. Yeah, it looks like Electrode is just floating there for a moment. Groudon has fainted. Why don't we catch it? We should have used a Master Ball. I remember actually the first time ever that I got to uh, Groudon. I was terrified as a kid. I just used my Master Ball right away to catch it because I thought there's no way there's going to be anything harder than this in the game. There's no way there's going to be a Pokemon that is harder to catch than Groudon. So I just used my Master Ball on it right away as a kid. And then for Latios and for Rayquaza, I thought, oh, oh, these are some pretty tough... Pokemon to catch over here too. Wait, where do we want to go? Oh, oh, I almost actually jumped down that way. But yeah, you obviously want to go over here. This is where we want to go. We want to go in here. And it's going to look so funny to see Ash Ketchum bursting into the wedding scene over here because he is not normally supposed to do that. Normally it's supposed to be Mario. All right, I had to take a little break, but now it is time for our Ash Ketchum to head through this door over here and Instead of Mario crashing through this door and trying to stop the wedding, it is going to be Ash Ketchum! There we go, Ash Ketchum bursts through the door! Oh, and the cappy eyes appear, and there's Charizard trying to get that ring onto Princess Peach there! Oh, and everyone's just standing around, let's go! We're gonna have a chat with you over here, Charizard! Ash walks over, here's Charizard and Peach! Peach, what do you have to say about this? Ash Ketchum! Oh, and Charizard grabs Peach! Look at how he laughs! It's so funny how Charizard moves his head like that when he laughs. Ash looks so good in this cutscene! He almost looks like he actually fits here. Oh! Charizard stomps the ground, and we fall down! No! Cappy, help us up! But Ash Ketchum is just too heavy. Cappy can't lift us up. Cappy, come down with me! And now we're gonna face the final boss! Very exciting times. So funny to hear a uh, Mario scream. Oh, oh, and down comes Charizard. All right, let's go, Charizard. Oh, and the thing after the final boss is gonna be very exciting also. Oh, there's Princess Peach. She's trapped inside that ring now. Oh, no. Huh, crashing the wedding, Ash Ketchum. That's tacky, even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters, since you weren't invited. So now it's time you make like a bouquet and get thrown out. Let's go, I'm ready to take you on. Oh, Charizard snaps his fingers over there. Get ready, Ash Ketchum. Oh, oh, that's right, he's gonna face us blindfolded. Look, he covers his eyes with his hat, that's so funny. Oh, that's a pretty cool flip that Bowser can do over there. Here's your happily ever after! All right, let's go, Charizard. I don't expect this to be too bad. Will this be too bad? Let's see how hard this is going to be. Okay, let's go like this. We can come here. Then jump over that. Now, are you gonna give us any trouble here? Oh, I just smashed that rock. Now I'm gonna punch you where it hurts, Charizard. Get ready, gonna hit you right in the tummy. I'm gonna jump over that. Okay, you fall over. Get out of here, Charizard. One out of three hits. Let's go, get wrecked, bro. Oh, I wonder if I get damaged if I stand too close to him, okay. Oh, and now Charizard is using Flamethrower, which actually fits so well because that looks like the kind of attack that Charizard should do because Charizard can know the move Flamethrower. Okay, yeah, it almost seems like when Charizard uses Flamethrower, it almost seems like it fits better than when Bowser uses it, which is kind of funny. Okay, let's go like that and get this one here. Very nice, there's another hat for us, okay. So let's go and get this Charizard. Let's just go like this, come on over, and come over here. Oh, that's fire! Oh, nice, nice, we actually did really well there. This is going great. Okay, get ready, jump over that. One more, okay, is that it or no? Okay, here we are, okay, so that was uh, two hits like that. I wasn't sure how many times he'd spin his tail. 
All right, Charizard, I might have to use a Master Ball on you if you keep giving me lots of problems over here. But I don't think that it will have to go that far. Wait, are you going to do it again? Okay, do your Flamethrower again. How much PP does that move have? Flamethrower, doesn't have 15 or so PP? Oh, he almost got me there, actually. Let's be careful. Whoa, still? Bro, how much PP does your Flamethrower have? Maybe the trainer that owns this Charizard actually used PP up. Just look at how many times he's using Flamethrower, bro. That's so many Flamethrowers he has. Okay, let's see. Where's the hat in the middle over there? Okay, so let's go like this. We don't need you. We don't need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Oh, man. I have no idea how that worked. I thought for sure that that would get us and that we'd be in big trouble over here. But looks like things are actually all right. Let's just avoid that. Okay, good. Wow. He didn't throw very many balls at us during this fight because we were able to move towards this Charizard very efficiently. Okay, how many times are you going to spin around? Okay, that's enough. Now, are you defeated or one more round? Oh, one more round. Let's go. Oh, or sorry, one more tail dodge, I mean. And there we go, Charizard. Get wrecked. All right, now, what's he going to look like when he's sleeping over here when he's defeated? His eyes are open still. Now, Princess Peach is going to be saved, right? Goodbye to the, what is it called? The wedding band? The binding band? I'm not sure what it's called. Now, Peach is going to float down. Let me just have a sip of water here. That dizzy Charizard looks so good in the background. I love it. That's so funny. Okay, let's come on over here. Oh, man, cubes are falling. Wait, why is Ash's face so dark right now? The lighting on his face is so weird. That was very unexpected. Ash, catch him. What are you doing? Oh, and Charizard's just dizzy the whole time. Here come more cubes. Yeah, Ash is just very dark right now. His face is very dark with the lighting over here for some reason. And down we go. Look at Charizard's tail just twitching. But now, now this is going to be something very excited that's going to be coming up over here. So let's just make our way to here. And what are we going to have to do? What are we going to do? Peach is looking around. What are we going to have to do? We have to, of course, capture Charizard. So now we are Charizard. Oh my goodness. Look at how the mustache on him looks. That looks so funny. Part of the cap, it almost looks like a eyebrows also okay so whoa 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 whoa. okay let's go let's go we need to need to hurry on up out of here okay let's go and we can charge up fireballs and blast through it with flamethrower attacks which is very nice and we can also scratch through here let's just go like this and let's go nice jumps nice jumps and we can blast out fire like that that's so cool that you can blast out fire like that i wonder if you could destroy any of these little rocks that are coming towards you i wonder if you could damage them oh boy what the how did we not get hurt there? I don't know what happened that we didn't get hurt there. Okay, get up, get up, get up. Okay, come on. Now we want to make our way up here. Okay, let's blast through here. Look out! Look out, rocks are falling on us. Okay, break this, break this, break this, break this, break this. Okay, and the platform is falling all around us. We need to make our way up here. Oh, and now we have to make our way through this section. Oh, and you know what? We didn't change the 2D section over here. We didn't change this 2D Bowser. Wait, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, boy. Let's go. And come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, 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 Make it up. Make it up. And oh, no. That's not where we have to go. I almost jumped to there. That would have been a big problem. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, man. We made it out. I don't know how we did that. I thought that I was going to make a mistake there. I thought that we'd fall. They have fallen there before, but very luckily we made it through. Charizard is doing fantastic over here. We're very happy with him. Let's go like this. Blast through the walls. Blast through the walls. Use slash attacks to get through the walls over here. Even though these are rocks and a normal type attack like slash should be not very effective on rock, maybe we should use metal claw because then that would be super effective. Okay, now we have some stuff to break over here with Charizard. Let's go. Hopefully we do not die here. It'd be lovely if we didn't die here. Oh, I wonder if I could just attack from a distance like that. Can I deal some damage? That deals some damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, just a cupcake actually gave me a tip about this. He said if you hold the slash button, then you can charge up a fireball like this, which is super cool. And it, I'm guessing that it's a little bit more efficient in some cases. Like from here, I could already maybe get an attack on it like that if my aim is good. Yeah, like you could already get a couple attacks onto this thing before you even get to it which is quite nice. Now, what about that one? Can I have good aim to there? I don't know if we're getting it. Oh, oh, look out, look out, look out. We want to go somewhere else. We want to come here. Let's go, let's go, let's go break this. Okay, now we just have to make it to the center, right? Oh, it fell on me. Uh, where do I go now? Where do I go? Where do I go? These are all coming down. They're all coming down. You're not supposed to come down. Oh boy, get up, get up. Look out, bro. Okay, there we go, there you go. Okay, this is not bad. Still have a lot of health. We only took one damage. Attack the cube. Let's breathe fire on the cube. And there we go. And come on, come on, come on, come on. How many hits does this need over here? 
and the rocks are coming! Okay, but we destroyed it. Now let's go over here, and this was the- Oh! Wait, don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash the game, because they're Rotogs. Wow! Wow, that's actually so cool. It looks like it worked, because the last time we had these, it crashed earlier. I thought that I actually switched it back. I'm surprised that they were actually Rotoms here. And is this going to work? Please work. Please tell me this isn't going to crash. Please tell me this will work. Yes! Okay, it works. That's amazing. Oh, and here's Charizard on the moon. Ash Ketchum, Mario landing on him. He's on his feet. And Peach gracefully lands down to the surface of the moon. Now, here comes Ash Ketchum. I love how the Charizard is just there. That's so funny. Ash is like, look, I caught you a Charizard. I slayed the dragon. That's what I did. I slayed the dragon. I completed my archetypal male role. I want to save the princess from the dragon over here. Oh, man, what a lovely story we have over here. Ash Ketchum, look at him. His face is so good. It's so funny to see Ash Ketchum in this scenario. Is it scenario or scenario? Scenario? I'm oh, and there comes Charizard. Wait, it looked like Charizard was smelling her. That was so weird. Ash is like, Mamma Mia, why don't you take this flower? Oh, man, look at that. Charizard and Ash Ketchum are fighting over Princess Peach over here. Who would have expected that these two would have been fighting amongst each other over here? And Peach is like, no, I want Mario, actually. And these two, they're like, no, no, we were not good enough. We were not sufficient. And what a cool scene, how you can see the Earth in the background over there. Guys, leave a comment if you've ever been to the moon before. I'm curious how many of my viewers have ever been to the moon before and how many of them have seen the Earth from this perspective. Now Peach calls us over. Bye, the Odyssey's leaving. It's going back to Earth. And here come Mario and Charizard. We're going to start running, right? Wait, what was that in the background? There's something weird over there. I'm not sure what that was. I wonder what that was. I wonder if that was connected to the Rotoms that we saw earlier or something else. And Ash Ketchum jumps off of Charizard, leaving Charizard on the moon. I really recommend you watch my video where we play Mario's Fury. It is Bowser's Fury, but the boss is Evil Curse Mario, and it is hilarious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.